Radio 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 Radio
fucking show, eh? You're a bomb too! I will never leave you two! I don't give a fuck about the fucking wall! I'll beat your ass! Don't come to my job again! You will be bad! I'll beat your ass! You officially entered the wet panty zone. Folks, let's change scenes, let's get comfortable, get your comfies on, get your blankets, get your snacks, pull up a chair. You know how we do it, it's Thursday night, folks. Thank you for joining me. Mother's Day is coming, so why not make it a Mother's Day special of sorts, of sorts. Folks, Von Helton's been pretty quiet, it's been mighty quiet. We're going to try to get to the bottom of this. Now, there's some stuff floating around out there, and I, you'll notice I said Vaughn updates with a question mark because I really don't know exactly what the hell's going on. I'm going to share what I know with you and try to keep it, you know, <laughs> keep it real of what exactly I know is going on because it's bits and pieces. Now, if there are any frost out there, or anybody in the know that knows what's going on, I would be more than glad to pipe you in for a few minutes on Facebook so we can get caught up with what the hell's going on. But, oh, just a sec. Give me, stick me with a fork. I'm all done. That heir to the estate has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Secular, Ban Quasi, and Todd Four bind domestic terrorists. Ah, uh, yes, well, they're, domestic terrorists are allowed here. They are allowed here, folks. So, Speaking of that, welcome to all the new people to THN. Yes, there's been, even though some of the cows have been quiet, there has been rumbles in the different pastures, and every little camp seems to have its own drama going on. Again, that's something else I don't know a whole lot about. I mean, I know a little bit here and there what I've been catching, but I ain't going to be telling no tales outside of school. We let people deal with that. And it's not just one camp. There's a few camps going around. And actually, I've been hanging out on a new app checking it out some some new territory and there's lots of drama going on over there too but that's a tale for another day as well but folks we do want to thank the new influx of people to trolls haters and naysayers some friendly faces some people some overlap from other communities and there's also some new people a small number of people that seem to have come over from a certain community because they have an issue with someone who's in trolls, haters, and naysayers. It happens sometimes. And I got to, you know, daddy secular's got to come in and put his foot down and just remind everybody of the rules. Everybody's allowed, but we don't do doxing and all that fucking bullshit. So if you're bringing bullshit from another server into my server, I let people hash it out and go at it for a bit. But there comes a time where I got to make a decision and start removing accounts. So I've removed some of the doxing. The next step will have to be, unfortunately, removing accounts. So let's let's not let it get there, people. I want everybody to come in and know I'm not talking about dragoons or anything like that. If the people are watching, they know they know what's up. So let's uh, keep the shit out of the THN. We just we don't I don't pull I don't play police officer i'm not online enough to fucking waste my time with that shit so i just get rid of accounts that being said let's get back to the show folks we got a bit of a theme together tonight with mother's day of course we have some of the internet's best june cleavers we got a little bit of tila tequila we actually got a double shot of tila tonight i spread it out though because i know she's not everyone's cup of tea each one is short but she is in fine form let me tell you so we're going to be checking that out. of course we know she is a number one grade a mother Speaking of, I thought we'd, it would be interesting to take a bit of a flashback to some roadside parenting by Rev and Shanny. I thought that might be fun considering Mother's Day is coming up. So we're going to check that out as well. Also, keep your eyes open, folks. I guess XX has a, another archive channel. There's been some stuff going on with hers. But she does have a secondary channel, so make sure if you enjoy that content, make sure to check her out. Should I foresight, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I probably should have grabbed the link, but if anybody has it, feel free to put it out there, folks. We got some new Cyrax. He was on Courtney's stream going at Mar Music Biz Marty. 
We got that. I was going to pull out a Sally clip in honor of Mother's Day, but this is new stuff. I haven't got to check it out. We got a new Rick Berry meltdown. Speaking of Mother's Day, I remember the video. We have just a, a splattering, just a just a hint of it, of that very sentimental, heartwarming, very touching video that Emo Howling Wolf put out about a year ago, recalling his birth and his mother. So we'll take a really quick, we'll take a really quick look at that. Um, as far as Vaughn, I thought we'd take another flashback to not that long ago. Now it's a sensitive topic, and I mean no disrespect to anybody, but I think the day that Vaughn Helton actually tried to use his mom's funeral as a $7,000 scam was pretty despicable. So we may have to relive some of that. We may have to take a look back at some of that. Oh, folks, we got Jesus losing faith in himself. Gail Cord Schuler, if you remember, we've been following the saga of Gail. It's been enthralling the, in the stories, quite frankly, engaging that she's been sharing. She has a new letter, and uh, Jesus is having some second thoughts. If you'll remember, Brent Spiner was upset because uh, Jesus has been getting more meta action with Gail and... Uh, We'll uh, we'll get caught up with that. What else we got? Oh, we got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I've got a tight little show tonight, folks. Let me crack into the beer here. Oh yeah. Now secular was kind of a. Uh, he did a he did a a no no a boo boo. I don't know what the word is for it. I fucked up. Secular got the Heineken and forgot it was in the trunk of his car. <laughs> so I had to throw it in the freezer to get her nice and cold, but I think it's just about perfect. Folks, are you kidding me? This is pouring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's all have a sip, folks. Hmm. Heineken, not a sponsor. That'll do just dandy, folks. What in the world is going on with Von Helton? He's been he's been pretty quiet. Still continues to put his videos behind a meager paywall, and then complains that no one's watching his videos. So there's been a few things going on, and if somebody out there knows what the hell's going on, please, please, clue me into it. I know Ronnie Ray's out there, but going back a little bit, and I got to be careful how I do this because I don't want to, I know people get these things planted in their heart and they, they get it set on it. and So take everything with a grain of salt, folks. So, folks, Larry comes into the Trolls, Haters, Naysayers Discord. And just post sold. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean, folks? Sold. Okay, Mary Sunshine, thank you for coming in. Sold. Sold. Bang. Sold. What does that mean? Of course, everyone's asking questions, not getting much back. I sent Air, uh, Larry a message. I'm like, hey, what's up? Sold. Does the property sell? He says, no, property hasn't sold yet. So what's sold? What does that mean? I'm not sure exactly what that means. Now, there's also something else going around, and Wilson's kind of touching on it, and this is where I'm getting confused. Von Helton, we know, constantly has court. Supposedly had court the other day about something. but was, uh, Or actually, he didn't have court. There was something going on about the estate. Now, I know that that got pushed till next month. Now, there's also something that's been coming out about Von Helton having court June 6th. Then there was also a rumor of Von getting sentenced or sent to jail or some shit. Now, the only thing that I've seen on the court docket is a James Helton, but I don't, I'm not convinced that's the same James Helton. It's a case of the Commonwealth against James Helton. That's the state. That, I typically he goes by James Paul Von Helton. He has legally changed his name to that. 
But again, I don't know. I don't know what other people know. But I keep hearing 30 days. 30 days. But I mean, we have heard that before too. Yeah, I don't think that's Vaughn. Over the years, people have uh, kind of been tripped up by that because there are other James Heltons. There's other Irv Heltons as well. The only thing I can confirm ever on the records besides Vaughn's, you know, recent court troubles, <coughs> excuse me, folks, was years ago, <clears throat> there was a $60 fine for like a U-turn or some bullshit. And I think that even said it was paid on the side of the road or paid promptly. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on exactly there, folks. All I know is Vaughn has been quiet. God damn quiet. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. So, just to kind of clear that up, that's where we're at. So, if you hear this stuff out here, the 30 days, another court case, possible sentencing, possible... I don't know. I don't know what's fact or fiction and how much I'm... I'm confident Von Helton has more court cases coming up. I mean, my goodness. He's got so many irons in the fire right now. I can't believe he, he's not getting fucked over. The only thing that's saving Von Helton is literally that he is a fuck-up, that he has nothing. I mean, other than getting to the point, he is more of a burden to them. It would be more expensive to put him in jail than just to continue his worthless existence now and just feed him some EBT cards. It literally is down to that. That is the only thing, as far as I'm concerned, keeping Vaughn in the situation he's in. He is living by the grace of... Of people that he fucking slanders on the internet, right? He's hanging on by a thread, but I really believe it is just cheaper to keep on in his situation. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. As more becomes available, folks, I will make sure to let you know. So, that's where we're at. Let's have another sip. Wet or whistle? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. The weather has been absolutely beautiful up here, folks. Spring has sprung. Love your mothers. And let's get into it. Chip. Yeah, much love to the fans. The Lokes don't stop. He won't quit with them things. Lokes rank number one pay-per-view with them fighting with them things. Number one with them... Um, Fighting with the magazine, with the boxing, and all uh, of fighting with the things as the locs don't stop, won't quit. Shout to all them MMA sites, boxing sites, all the fight sites. Locs never gonna stop. Locs in a liquor store, gonna give the fans some shadow boxing. As the lows don't stop, as he can hit the lows on the bottom with the things. As the lows knows, he never gonna quit with the things. He keep pushing with all the fans that can hit the lows on the bottom with the things. As the lows knows, he don't stop. He Dead won't air quit. to the estate has just donated two dollars through super chat. Secular ban Merz Parker as a domestic terrorist. She's gone, gone. With them things, he keep doing what he does. Never gonna stop with all the fans. They can hit the lows nowhere. As I be swinging at them, with them things, they can hit me on the bottom. With them things, as the lows knows, he never gonna quit. With them things, fans, it's never gonna stop. With them things, they can hit me nowhere. As I be countering them. With them being offensive, with them things. As the Lowe's knows, he never gonna stop. As the Lowe's the greatest offensive fighter of the air. As Crazy Lowe's skill level is so unique. As the Lowe's never gonna quit, with them things. As he never gonna stop. As he loves too much, with them KO, with them things. As he keep pushing with all the fans, with them things, never gonna stop with them things. Yeah, God bless the fans. Lowe's don't stop. He won't quit with them things. Lowe's too much for this world with them things. As the Lowe's push for life 
with all the fans whipping things. Everybody kick the lows to Hollywood, give him his own reality deal as the lows push for life with all the fans. Never gonna quit. God bless the fans. Chip! Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey guys, Stuart Perry Long, much targeted citizen. I've had a lot of tragedy in my life. I mean, more tragedy than you can imagine. From finding my fiance hanging dead from a rope, to my best friend hanging dead from a rope, to me hanging dead from a rope, my kids being stolen, my my everything, everything in my life destroyed. And today is one of the hardest, one of the hardest days that I'm, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be the hardest day. As, as much as I'm targeted and as much as I'm harassed and as much of my life gets destroyed, today is the day that has wrecked me. So, folks, he has found a fiancé hanging from a rope, a friend dead hanging from a rope. He himself found himself hanging from a rope and had his children stolen from him. But today, an event happened that has brought him to tears, finally broke him. What is it? What could it be? What could it be, folks? I started this channel to help people. And for trying to help people and trying to give people hope and trying to show people the way to get through this targeted life. Whether you believe it or not, that's the mission for this channel is to help other people that are struggling like me. I've seen some of the worst in humans. I can feel evil coming off of people. I can feel it in my bones. And yet I still look for the good in everybody. I, I do. I know it don't sound like it when I pop off online. I, I know it doesn't sound like it, but I do. I told you guys I got the judgment for my motorcycles. Not only my motorcycles, but a bunch of equipment. Air compressors, motorcycle lifts, everything. Yesterday the sheriff goes to talk to the guy about my belongings, about retrieving them, setting up a time. Now, this guy used to be my brother. When he called me, he needed me. I was there. And then when it was time to pay me one day, he decided, oh, I ain't going to pay you. You're a thief. I'm a thief then. I'm a thief when he says he, it's time to pay me. I'm a thief. And just like all the trolls on here who said, oh, I'm, 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 I'm a fraud. I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I'm a con man. All those people. Do you remember that? So the sheriff goes and talks to the guy yesterday to find out what all he's going to give back. Giving in the court order saying, hey, you got to give his stuff back. And the cop calls me on the phone. He said, hey, you want to meet at 2 o'clock tomorrow and get that stuff? I said, yeah, great. I said, I, it'll probably take me a couple loads. Here I am being optimistic. I said, it'll probably take me a couple loads to get all my stuff. Oh, oh well, about that, Mr. Pidlong. Um, he said all he's got is your ultra classic. I'm sorry Wilson donated $2 through Super Chat. He wasn't hung on a meat hook. Not a real victim. Mm, well, Vaughn is the real victim. So, folks, just so we're all on the same page, if you're still a little confused of what's going on, going on here, he started out the video by outlining some of the major pivotal tragedies in his life, finding a fiancé hanging from a rope, a friend hanging from a rope, himself at the end of a rope and his kids being stolen but none of that compares apparently to someone he once knew cheating him out of his motorcycle return i guess i, I said what he said all he's got is your ultra classic everything else he doesn't have any of it he got rid of all of it your, your 77 FLH electric light shovel head is gone. And right then and there, my heart broke. Not only did I get screwed by a buddy, a brother, but the lawyer 
that I've known my friend for 20 years screwed me. Didn't do my case. I paid him. And he waited the day before statute of limitations runs out to actually file the paperwork. This brother of mine, when I went to get my stuff the first time, assaulted me in the middle of the road. But my good heart, I don't want to get him in. I don't want to put him in jail. I, I don't want. Any, I don't want anybody to get a, be in a cage. So I let that run, thinking, "Hey, that's my leverage. He'll get my stuff back if I tell him, hey, 'Hey, I'll put you in jail for punching me.' It, it, was, a, it was a sucker punch. It was a bitch punch. It didn't hurt. It, I laughed at it. It was funny that he punched me in the face. Because if that's the best he's got, I would never want to brawl with that man because I would hurt him. I would kill him." So my lawyer didn't file the paperwork until one or two days before statute of limitations runs out. So what does that mean? That means my case. That was three years later. That means my case for assault for me to file and use that for leverage is gone. So I didn't have that on him. 2022 before my lawyer finally does his freaking job. We go to court and the court's ready to give me judgment. He's ready to look. The, 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 the judge says... Sir, do you have the judgment written out so we can get this handled today? Oh, wait, Your Honor. I need to write it up. We got through all of that. It took my lawyer six years to write up a judgment for me. Finally get the judgment wrote out. Fast forward to yesterday. And the cop tells me, Oh, he's giving you one motorcycle. And this cop... I don't want to down him, but his, his, his supervisor said he don't know his job. He don't, he don't know what he's doing. Because I said, well, if he doesn't obey a court order, that's contempt of court, and you get arrested. Because if I don't obey a court order, I go to jail. And the cops said, no, 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 we don't arrest him. You got to go back and sue him again. So I've already been in court six years to get my stuff back. Now I've got to go back and sue him again. That was really the worst that I thought was going to happen. I thought that was the worst. I, uh, the first bike I ever had, I couldn't afford one. So I built a Volkswagen trike. Volkswagen motor on the back. Hardly, everything else is hardly. Because I'm like always, a stuffed turkey. The first time I'm going down the interstate as a child, I remember. Stick me with a fork. I'm all done. Dan has just donated one pound and 79 pence through Super Chat. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Remember a pack of shovel heads going by. Shovel heads of 70s, 60s, and 70s, and 80s, Harley Davidson. I saw that pack of bikers drop by, and I said, that's what I want to do. That's me. That's my freedom. And for the longest time since I started riding, riding motorcycles was my life. 60, 50, 60,000 miles a year is what I put on my bikes. Before my life was destroyed, I had five Harley Davises tagged and insured in my building. And my dream bike was always get an ultra class. So I thought the rest was done. I thought the worst was over. And I go today to get my bike. Three sheriffs are sitting out there. And when we pull up in the driveway... My bike was sitting there, but I didn't even recognize my own motorcycle. Because they tore it to pieces. My bike didn't have a scratch on it. Not a scratch, not a dent, nothing. It was a complete one-piece bike, and this is what I got. Every part and piece has been taken off. They've had it, they, they took it apart to sell it off. Haul this apart. Headlight, the spotlight's gone. He gives me an old raggedy seat because I don't do fringe. Seat's gone. Took my key switch out of here. Windshield, gone. Mirror's gone. All my, uh, everything disconnected. Nothing works. My switch is all tore apart. Look at my engine, SNS 113. Look at it. This is what I get. Just chrome off here. Is that one loose? Yep, that was loose too. They had the whole bike. Look, look at all the scratches on my motorcycle. Every, look at all these scratches. Where they had it apart. They were selling parts off of it. 
I bought this from the original owner, original pay. It's not a special bike to anybody, except that was what was left of my life after my fiance was murdered. And now it's all gone. Destroyed. As bad as I get screwed, I really honestly thought I'd drive up over there and my bike would be the way it was it was when I walked away from it. How it was the day it was stolen from me. I thought it would be in that condition. Now it's beat to piss. Beat to piss. Where they padded in parts, in parts being selling parts off of it. And then at the last minute, oh crap, we gotta hurry and put it back together. And for all you uh, people out there, the trolls that call me a con man and a thief and a liar, here's insult to injury. When I get there, he starts yelling with three cops sitting there, hey, 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 buddy, come on over here, let's talk, I want to talk. Invites me in the office and then, after he does this to my motorcycle, after he destroys my bike, floorboard's gone, just destroys my motorcycle, has the nerve to say, golly gee, man, I realize now that you didn't steal anything from me. I realize now you were the only friend I had. I realize now you're the only one I can trust. Will you come back and help me run this place? Has the nerve to act, offer me a job after this? I done built a shop up, shop up one time. There wasn't a lift in the whole building and I bought a lift. It's still there that he won't give back to me. You're the good guy, man. I'm sorry this happened. I didn't tear your bikes apart, but I realized what happened, and I was like, golly gee, you were my only friend. I didn't do this to your bike. And then, and then, excuse me. Because remember, there's another motorcycle. Well, that other bike's not here. The 77 shovel head. I sold that, and the man died, and I've got the paperwork right here. He don't have the paperwork. I've got the title. It, my, the title's right here. The title to that 77 shovel head is right here because I bought it fair and square. I traded a 1976 rigid frame chopper, not rigid frame shovel head for it. Right here. Traded for it. Numbers matching 77 electric life. Was it anything? It wasn't much. It was a bike. It was numbers matching. Everything went together. That was my dream bike. This was a dream bike to have to be able to take my family riding. But the 77 Shovel Head was my dream bike. I've got the, the fairing for the front. i got the bags. i got the tour bag. I had the old style fairing. i got everything to make it beautiful. And now it's just gone. But he says now, in front of the cops, after offering me a job, I'm. you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to go get that motorcycle back. From the kindness of his heart, he's going to get that bike back for me. No, from the kindness of the court documents, now he's admitted he knows where the bike is. I've never in my life intentionally went out to hurt somebody. I've never stolen from anybody. I have lost my ass helping people. I'll do, I'll give my not only the shirt on my back. I'll give my life for any person out here, so I don't have to suffer anymore. And every time I get up after helping somebody, this is what I get. This man that I helped destroys my freaking motorcycle, steals another one, takes all my freaking parts, takes all my goddamn loot, takes it all, and then offers me a job back. Cause I'm honest. I, get, I told you guys that I forgave him for this crap four months ago. I forgave him. I said, I, me and Mason's riding down the road in my truck. And I said, Mason, I just grabbed his hand. I said, if he's got cancer, let's pray for him. And we pray for his cancer. And I, and I forgave him right then. I forgave him, not even knowing this. And this is what I get for forgiveness. They were partying my bike out, selling parts off of it, and then at the last minute, oh crap, we can't do that! But see now, this is no longer an original motorcycle. 
See, I've got this is SNS 113, but I've got the original motor in the building. It's in the building, it still runs. But this is no longer an original bike because all the original stuff's gone. I can't get that matching paint color back. I didn't like the color, but it was original. That's why I want to keep it that way. Is this bike worth anything to anybody else? No, but it's mine and I worked my ass off for it. I don't know if I can just keep on loving. I don't know if I can keep on trying to help people when I get screwed every time. I just don't know. So guys, I know this may it may seem petty to anybody else, but this was the last bit of light I had in my world. This was it. Just to have my bro, just, just to have my bike in one piece out in the building. That was good enough. But now, because I, I ain't got the money to fix this, I ain't got. I, I, I'm disabled without a check. They won't pay me no money. They don't pay me what I put in. When you guys see me on here, oh, I look all fine and healthy, but you don't see what's happening with my body. My body's falling apart. The days that you don't see me on here, I'm in there on the couch because I can't freaking walk. But here you go. This is what happens when you, when you, when you're a good buddy and 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 I trusted you and you helped me out and thank you so much and you want your job back. This is what you get. We'll be right back after these messages. And I'm back, guys. It's been such an amazing trip. And now I'm just relaxing and chilling, like having a really relaxing day, just doing absolutely nothing but being a princess, rolling around in my bed. <laughs> so you know, if you've ever watched the Tila video, you... <laughs> can't believe i paused it there but anyways uh you know what you're in for uh watch your ears because by the end she's gonna get very very loud so because <laughs> daddy pays for everything literally my daddy pays for everything and my husband jesus watches over our whole household he pays for everything see this is why this is why he's kept like everyone away because you know he did not when the glory comes he did not want any, you know, oh loser come come around here talking about, oh, I, I'm the one who helped you get there because none of them did shit. See, God wanted to show you their broke ass, loser ass self, and you know because especially the Lord was revealing to me today how, because you know a lot of things I didn't forgot about because you know I forget, forget, I move on with my life, and I only come back around to expose certain things if God tells me to. But other than that, I like forget like everything <laughs> in the past, you know. And then God brought me back away in the past. He's like, see, re rejoice, child, because look what the enemy has tried to do to you. Because, you know, when Lucifer tried to knock me up and get me pregnant, you know, with Isabella a long time ago when I was still a young lady and not really knowing anything. I was just leaving Hollywood, you know. I was, like, getting out of rehab. Like, you know, I, I was in a bad place. I had just died. I literally had just had a brain aneurysm. And here comes this predator trying to seek out, you know, because he saw, everyone saw on the news I had a brain aneurysm. I did not know what was going on. I still had to recover, and there he was, old-ass predator, you know, trying to take advantage of young women like me. I mean, if you, like, now that everyone's awake, if you go to his Instagram page, I don't even know if it's still up, but if you go it, on his old social media pages, he used to post pictures of, like, little girls. You know, back then, everyone was asleep, so I guess nobody said nothing to him, and he thought he could get away with it. But if you look at, look at his profile again, he has pictures of little girls on his profiles. And he's talking about, uh, he has posting like different pictures of them too. And like talking about, this is my baby. I mean, just so nasty. And he calls himself a Christian. You know, when he, he has multiple baby mamas. And then he goes and uh, tries to lurk little girls that's younger than his daughters. And, you know, it's creepy. This man is in his 50s, guys. He's in his 50s. His dad died in his 60s from cancer. So God revealed to me, Satan has a short time because he's about to die just like his daddy before him. Because he's already in his 50s, okay guys? And he can't do shit. You can't do shit to me. But you see how they try to get me knocked up and they thought, oh now if I abandon her and just try to attack her and do all this and that. They really thought I was going to die as, you know, all alone, single mom and drowning with no one to help me. But look, look, I, I have prevailed. They, they never thought I was going to be here. Not only did I conquer, I am more than a conqueror. Not only did I prevail, I came out on top. 
I came out winning. I came out winning on every side. What the enemies meant for evil, God turned it around for my greater good, and he put them all to shame. He exposed them and put them all to shame, and now they're the ones drowning, gnashing their teeth. What is in the outer darkness, guys? What's in the outer darkness? The Lord says, in the outer darkness, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. So if you're one of these motherfuckers out in the outer darkness weeping, you are in the outer darkness. If you feel like you're drowning, you are one of the pharaohs and the Egyptians in the outer darkness drowning behind me in the Red Sea. While I pass by safely, I have literally crossed over the Jordan, the Red Sea, the Jordan, and I am in my promised land. Now all I'm doing now is waiting for God to give me the keys to my new house. And it's all on his timing, but it's got to happen. And the, the reason why God has barely kept some of my enemies alive is because he wanted to put them to shame and let them see God's glory risen on me and let them see how much I have prevailed, how much I have overcome. And look at me now. Look at it now. And look at you sitting there being an old pervert. Posting pictures of little girls thinking this day would never come, but everyone sees you now. Everyone. And you can't you can't run, you can't hide. Judgment is here. But anyways, I'm back home now just doing absolutely nothing because my daddy, my husband, Jesus, pays for everything. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. This is my reaction to how Brent responded to the knowledge that Jesus took his free will in order to acquire me as a lover. Brent, I think the reason Jesus let you beat him up and tear his face into shreds is because he wanted you to kill him. I think Jesus is suicidal. The guilt he's feeling is overwhelming. When a person's in clinical depression, they can't even think straight which may explain why he hasn't been doing the Gale Commandments or anything he should be doing, like doing the un -butt fuck on you, so that Buddha had to do it. So while we are gloating over our revenge, this deity might decide to take himself out. Yes, Jesus will forgive you, Brent, but he won't forgive himself. He's ready to check out. I guess he figures since he plans to kill himself, that it doesn't matter what he does. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, Brent. How can Jesus do the Gale Commandments without mentioning my name? That is something God the Father wants him to do. If God himself showed up and tried to fuck my wife, I would beat the shit out of him too. We need to be careful not to insult God the Father. Do not even insinuate that he would sin. I can assure you, God will never sin. I'm, ta I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about the Father and would never try to fuck me. <laughs> I had a long talk with Jesus last night since I had trouble sleeping. I told him we can remain friends, but there must be absolutely no sex. I told him that he can find true love and he needs to be real in his relationships to find it. I also told, told him to be sure and stay out of the brain-to-brain -brain servers. I reminded him that his dad is righteous and will not tolerate sin, <coughs> even in his own son. I told him that I have faith in him and that I believe he's capable of being true to the good in him. I talk with Jesus the old-fashioned way through prayer. Of course, he can't answer back unless he violates God the Father's rule to stay out of the brain-to-brain -brain servers, which I hope he's not doing. I said some other things that I'll keep between Jesus and myself. I hope I was able to help him believe that true love is possible for him with a goddess out there somewhere. Brent, we had some very nice brain-to-brain -brain loving though I have noticed my orgasms are being blocked, but I enjoy the emotional intimacy nevertheless. Or maybe it was real sex because he's in my apartment. <laughs> Either way, I am very fortunate to have you. To help you understand Jesus, I believe he created Earth and the human race specifically to be his custom-designed bride. 
So when his dad said he canceled the Bible, it meant he canceled his custom-designed bride. Jesus falsely believes that if he is himself, that no goddess will have him. When he saw that I forgave Lori McBride, he figured he had a chance for love with me, and he became reckless and even immoral. I told him to stop believing Satan's lies. He is not polio abs, and even if he is, if he's beautiful on the inside, some goddess out there will love him, flaws and all. But he needs to stop the charades and be real, and also must not try he must not try to acquire love sinfully. His relationship with Satan has severely scarred him, leading him to believe he's only loved when he performs and looks hot and so forth. He believes a lot of the lies Satan said about him. Satan apparently had a crush on Jesus and as a spurned lover felt very lonely and reacted to God the Father in an unhealthy way. Jesus seems to think that all, that all his lovers will end up like Satan and will spurn him when they learn what he's really like. He then goes into self-defeating behavior, doing stuff to try and acquire his lover that he knows if the lover found out about would cause him to be rejected. He needs to have faith that he is a good and attractive person as he is and to drop all the performances in his relationships and be real. There is no need to manipulate, manipulate people into relationships with him or to perform. He just needs to be present and real for starters. He's kind of lost interest in his human race project because his sole purpose for creating the human race was to custom design a bride for himself. His dad knows this and apparently has faith in us to fix his son's mental illness. He also feels he's committed so many unforgivable sins which have now been exposed that it will be impossible for him to get a following. I told him humans are very forgiving and that he just needs to come clean and be real and perhaps construct a religion based on being present, real, and forgiving. Redemption is possible for all of us, even high-ranking deities who've sinned. He can be the shining example of one who has sinned, who's had a mental illness, and has found a way forward. He can show others with mental illness how to overcome their mental illness. I told him, if he does his job as a deity who shows others how to overcome their mental illnesses, that perhaps he can someday reach Satan by his shining example so that Satan too will overcome his mental illness. Satan is a very lonely creature. Like Jesus, Satan has gone into self-defeating behavior to get lust relationships believing love is impossible for him and that it is impossible for him to be good. I warned Jesus that the way he is going, he may end up like Satan. Of course, he realizes this and that's why he wants to kill himself because the mere thought he could be like Satan makes him want to die. Jesus has totally lost faith in himself, which is Satan's problem, by the way. He is capable of great love, great forgiveness, and great redemption. I told him to feed the greatness that I know lies within him, be real in all his relationships, and he will find true love. It all started when he began believing Satan's lie that he's a failure and no good. I told him, this is not true. You must stop believing Satan's lies. He does not need to manipulate people to find love. He just needs to be real, authentic, and risk rejection. He may be rejected, but if he persists eventually, if he has the courage to be real, he will find true love with a goddess who will love him for who he really is. He created me to be a lot like him and falsely believes 
that I am the only one who can love him for who he really is. I don't think he's ever given love a chance because he has such low faith in himself. He won't be real in his relationships, so the other deities can't determine who the real Jesus is. He doesn't need to be perfect. He doesn't need to perform. He just needs to be real and to have faith that he is a good and attractive deity when he is just himself. And if some don't like who he is, those are toxic relationships that he should avoid anyways. Just because Lakshmi rejected him does not mean there can't be other goddesses out there that he could find a true love relationship with. I mean, his, his dad appears to have a true love relationship with his mother, so there you go. You are a lot like your dad, Jesus. It's possible for you. So why did he sin to try and acquire me as a wife? He has such low faith in himself. He figures he may as well sin since nobody likes who he is anyways. He planned on covering it up and taking what love he could get, which was what he tried to do with me. Now that he's been found out, he figured he may as well kill himself, that his chances for love are finished. His own self-defeating behavior is the culprit. If he only had more faith in himself, he wouldn't feel the need to manipulate his lovers into relationships with him, which appears to be how he reacted to the Lakshmi rejection. You might say, all of the goddesses were crazy about him in God school. Yes, they were crazy about his fake persona. He knew that if they found out who he really is, they would reject him. That's why he needs to drop the charades. Satan is wrong. He can be loved as polio abs and all. He has vast inner beauty, which, I'm sh which I am sure some goddess out there will adore. I don't think it's wise to completely cut Jesus out of my life. He needs my friendship right now, but he must not have sex with me in any form. He is sexually attracted to me, and we should not condemn him for this. He can't control his feelings. What he can control is how he acts out his feelings. There has to be a way for him to get a healthy sexual release that won't harm himself or others until he finds his goddess. We'll be right back after these messages. America! Hey! I don't give a fuck, yeah. YouTube. YouTube, we got a Subway sandwich to review. This is the uh, masa meats. Add bacon, pepperoni, cheese, fresh mozzarella, smashed avocado. Capicola. Now the bread is an Italian herb and cheese toasted with lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, pickles, onions, banana peppers, oil, red wine vinegar, regular mayonnaise, creamy sriracha, buffalo sauce, sweet onion sauce, and what the fuck is this? Pomegranate, or no? Envy Parami. Uh, anyway, I don't know. There's the receipt. So we're going to see how it do. Subway's been advertising their new mozzarella meat sandwich on YouTube. Now, I ordered mine with the uh, Footlong Pro as they were called. Let me check the receipts on DoorDash. Footlong Pro, which is a, a lot of calories. I don't know. But yeah, check it out. We're going to do a review of it. So let's see how Subway do it. Subway's good. I like Subway. They're good. Anyways. The 
your boy King Cobra is going to do a review of the subway. Got a combination of sauces. Should be interesting to say the least. Yo. I got Doritos in the cupboard if I want to stack Doritos on it, but I may not need to, to be honest. Oh, snap. The amount of sauce on this sandwich is ridiculous. And I did have it toasted, like I said. This looks and smells pretty good presentation is everything when you're ordering food. All that cheese and the meats. It's got bacon too, like I said. So this, this this looks pretty good. What do you guys think, YouTube? Food hack the menu at Subway. Let's see how I do. Not bad. The extra cheese and the bacon is a nice touch. Yo. That's actually really good, YouTube. The extra cheese, the meat. On the Italian herb and cheese. Mm. Got the avocado in full effect. YouTube. I feel like a sandwich whore for cheating on Jersey Mike's, but. <laughs> that, uh, that's not, that's not too shabby for a sandwich, dude. The bacon, the avocado, the combination of sauces. Not too shabby, you two. This is a uh, subway. Not too bad. The combination of sauces that I put on the subway sandwich give it a nice spicy kick. Mmm. Is this authentic Mott's? No. By no stretch of the means, no. Nope. But, I ordered this sub off of DoorDash. Customizing and food hacking Subway's Mozza Meats, which is their mozzarella meat sandwich. I food hacked it with Subway's deal like toasted non-toasted whatever i got this bitch toasted and honestly this ain't half bad youtube this is actually really good mm. 
I'm gonna have a big old half for later. So I want to go ahead. I want to give this a. Uh, I'm gonna give this a five stars when I end the video because the subway sandwich is just. It's delicious, dude. Look, 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 look at it. Oh. Mother's Day mukbang, folks. Now, Subway's Italian herb and cheese bread's pretty good. Jersey Mike's, on the other hand, has a Parmesan encrusted bread, which is also really good. So this is similar to that. I know for a fact this sandwich would slap with Doritos. That's usually what I do with my sandwiches. I'm going to do that for the second half of this sandwich. Which I'm going to eat for later. But, oh, YouTube. That's a good sandwich. One more bite for the fans. YouTube, you know you want a bite. like baby Jesus. I was expecting angels to sing, folks, when he held that up there. Oh, you too. Yeah. One second. <clears throat> The new bald cobra video? I don't think so. I mean, I remember when he shaved his pits and stuff. Well, hey, what's up? I don't know. I don't think I have access to that. What is that? Is that on his channel? YouTube? That Subway sandwich was slapping. Not too bad, dude. Not bad at all. Those uh, mozzarella chunks are pretty good. There's the receipt for what I ordered. So, get your boy King Cobra back at it with a food review. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> it's because God loves you. Oh my God. <laughs> Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be corky. He's racist and bitter and shit out of luck. Toothless and angry and creepy as fuck. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be corky. They'll blame everybody for their own strife. Stuck on the YouTube the rest of their life. No, you're not allowed to be on the internet.
So I was trying to look for some footage, um, just kind of get an idea of what uh, certain YouTubers uh, affiliated with uh, Black Eyed TV and Ms. Parker are up to, and I found this video. <sighs> I, I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. I have taken all of the nicotine. You can stay right here. Right. Also on aisle one. Code 99, code 99. You see? Yeah. Get a job. I've taken all of the nicotine. Um, <clears throat> so I couldn't tell which ones those were exactly. I couldn't tell. I mean, I suspect that one's uh, Alibis, Ms. one of Ms. Parker's uh, moderators. Nick, uh, Nick, I, I don't know what Nick's, <laughs> Nick, dude, um, what are you doing? She's got big booty, I can tell you that much. Uh, not sure who the other one is. I'm, I would like to think that it's not Ms. Parker. Um, as far as the guy, I, you know, I, I, it's not Black Eye TV. Black Eye TV is not that tall. Um. Although he tries to pretend he is. Um, but yeah. You know. I I really, really would encourage uh, you know Ms. Parker and the rest of the uh the petty family as they call themselves. Stop stealing from Walgreens. Really, just stop. Stop. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's, there's, there's better ways of making money. Um, I'm just, this, this, seeing this just makes me sad. It really does. Cause it's like, why, why are they doing it? You know, I mean, the, the thing that is, is like, And there goes Alibis with her bag full of stolen product. I don't think that's Miss Parker. I really don't. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't think that's her. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, but it's, and there goes that guy. So, yeah. Uh, it's really, really sad. It's really sad that people think that they have to steal. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm very disappointed in, uh, in that whole group, you know, I mean, I don't know, it's just, I mean, is this reparations? Oh, <laughs> Nick. And by whole group, I think he's clarifying now what group he's talking about. I mean, you can make that argument. You can make that argument. You know. 
And I could claim that that, that uh, stolen house was reparations for the Irish potato famine. Um, you know. Those have, you know, those have, you know, reparations, it's an equal legitimacy, you know. I just did not think that I would find something like this, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry. I mean, I, I'm I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. But, um... I mean, yeah, I, I just, I really don't know what else to say. We'll be right back after these messages. The force is strong. I am seriously sick of this shit, man. Here is the path to the dark side. Whoa! That's no moon. It's more machine, huh? It's just a dick! It's more than shit! do it! Think you were gonna get rid of me that easily, did you? May the Schwartz be with you. I don't wanna hurt anyone, and I know I hurt a lot of people. Dude. Alright, so what the fuck is going on? I literally like am lost. What the hell? What's up? Sorry, you should know. You tell him, Courtney, because he won't listen to me. Cyrex, fucking Jasmine, dude. Oh, I, I haven't heard from her in, like, about, what, going on... Two days? Three, four, actually going on, actually, yeah, about four days by the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, because we see all... She posts all of your Discord messages. She shares all of your fucking texts, dude. Oh, I know, she... and here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing, and just like, just like what you know. do, Marty, <laughs> I honestly don't give a fuck. Like, people post... Let me put it this way. Do you know how she many shares your jerk-off videos. No, hold on. Let, let me let me say something. <laughs> you know how many people attack me every fucking day, Marty? I've got a guy pretending that he's got a fucking lawyer and he's trying to shut me down from using my image. And it's fake as fuck. So... But she's somebody that's I, acting I, like I, she I, cares I, about I, you, dude. Straight up honest, Marty. I'm not saying this to be a dick, but let's, let's look at the facts here and be straight up honest. You are the one that started all this. Because if you didn't start up with that candle shit, he needs to make everything about him. Shit when it started. So, all it's what, what we what we need we need to know, Cyrax, is why the one sideburn? For real, dude, they're both here, literally. Mm. Like, seriously, though. <laughs> Cyrax, <laughs> I'm saying though that Jasmine pretends to give a shit about you. Oh, is what I think. Oh, and and I the the one thing I will give her credit for is what she did the other night. When she called Marty out on his bullshit, I will give her oh. credit for that straight up. She okay. did call him out, and rightfully so. I understand your bias deserve, there. Marty. You actually did deserve that. And honestly, Marty, I'll be honest with you. And I'm not playing nicey nice. I'm standing up for myself. I'm against little fuckbags like you, Marty. Little, little douchebags like you deserve to get fucking called out and deserve to get all the shit that gets thrown your fucking way. I don't really give a fuck. It's inconsequential, dude. Marty, let's be honest here, bro. You've cost me my job. Oh, my God. you cost me a record deal. There's no record deal. You literally cost me 500 grand a year (laughs) in ad revenue by having my channel shut down for no reason when I hit 1,000 subs. You you can't even swing that hammer like a man, dude. Let me me answer this. You want to talk about why am I not making any money? You never did. You never did. 
You never You're did. You're the reason why, bro. You never did. Because little bitches like you. You never did. Way before you never did. You never did. You never did. For a little assholes like you. You never did. Take advantage of people like me, right. man. You never did. If you were making so money and I came around you more, this motherfucking right. ass, you overweight little oh bitch. God. You're Sorry, a fat ass. You're making ass money before me, and I stopped. You're a nobody, Marty. You're and making money before me, and I stopped. That's not what happened. You've made more money since you've gotten to know me. Marty, You've made more money since well, meeting these people. Let's be honest, Marty. Let's be honest You're here. You're making Nick. more money since so we've gotten to know each other. You agree with me when I say You're this. Making more money since we've gotten without to know me, me. You would be nothing. Without you, me, Marty, you, you wouldn't have more money since we've gotten to know me. Without me, you wouldn't have Jack in it. All right, so recording. What's more? Uh, I don't need a sense for $20. Farmer in the Cell donated $19.99 through Super Chat. I'm gonna piss Corky off right now. Cheers, sec. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Piss him off more often if that's the case. Folks, please thumbs up the video. We got more to come. First thing you bullshit showed up your ass, Marty. Go tell to somebody that actually gives a fuck. Seriously, bro. Uh, here's the thing, Marty. No one gives a fuck about what you gotta say, bro. No, no one really gives a shit. People man. listen to you. People I mean, listen Marty, to you. Let's, let's look at the facts here, Marty. When they call you, they like my you. name, people dude, respect Marty, me. So right. The numbers up, don't lie, Marty. Let's be no. honest here, Marty. Whether it's good or bad, people fucking talk about me all the fucking yeah, time. Everyone, good everyone or fucking you're an bad. Idiot. And they like to laugh good at you. Good or bad, it don't fucking matter. To me, <laughs> Everyone bro. likes to laugh at, at you. At the end of the day, bro, that's You're still delusional as fuck. So, Marty, because you are delusional as fuck. Bro, you I'm, little yeah, idiot. We're the one that's sitting there. Cyrax, the more people talk about you online, the less fucking skin you have on the top of your head, dude. Like, yeah. is it really like? advantageous to comment. have all these people well, like prison mike's made a good comment earlier cyrax he was saying that like during the stress and all the shit of the time that he's known you online he thinks it's like physically take, having a toll on you like being oh, on yeah, here and, being stressed out. and i will i will be straight up honest it has there have been days like you remember that time like you remember when i was off of youtube for literally like two or three months yeah and i wasn't doing jack shit yep. you know when i was doing 90 percent of that time I was fucking sleeping. I was sleep deprived. I was depressed as fuck and oh, didn't want to do a goddamn you're happy thing. Now? That's good. That's I good. did not want to do a goddamn thing. And no, being depressed is not good, Marty. I mean, look at what you're happy now, right? You're happy now, right? You're because happy of now, right? An asshole, Marty, let's be honest here, Marty. Because of your little shenanigans and what you push mass holes to do to me, do you not realize the toll and the physical and mental effect? That that shit has on people. There's a reason why. You know I, what child abuse? Is? Why I hate. You know what kind of pull that has? Out. You little crazy. There's a reason why I stand up against little pussy ass bullies like you, bro. Because motherfuckers like you push people like me every fucking day. Yeah, you this little creep just let me have sex you the other night. Little fucking weirdo. You know, weird, you know so what the weird. number one? Do you know what the so number one weird. cause of suicide is, Marty? Fucking bullies like you, man. But you're an adult. You're Why don't you just be an adult? Bro. And Marty, I don't I'll be sure off, I'm not going to fucking hide it. I'm not going to fucking hide oh it. At one point, you and my asshole reports did push me to damn near my life. With the and thank stylus? God I had friends on, and family dude. to fucking stop me, bro. Oh but let me God. tell you, Marty, there's not a lot of people that have that luxury of having someone there to stop them when they're at that point. I just have them to get lucky and have family and friends stop me, dude. But well, they're trying and to put you in mental it's bad, enough that, it's bad enough that a week ago, you damn near got my fucking head shot off by the goddamn cops well, by did. making up a fucking lie about me saying that I was going to kill you and that I was going to shoot them if they showed up. Yeah, because you don't have the ball balls to kill me. You can't even though. swing a hammer. You can't even swing a hammer. Marty, let's be honest, man. You're a fucking leech. A fucking clout-chasing fuckboy. Sarex, what are you doing dude, here? You what are you doing here, Cyrex? Your life, bro. Sarex, I'm out here every day. What is he doing trying here? Trying to make music. <laughs> trying to actually put something out. That he goes follows me around. He like follows you. me around. I, I try not to talk about him. He follows yeah, me around. Yeah, cool fucking shit you tried Happened last night. Here you are tonight. Sorry, That's a fucking ball face lie, Marty. You fucking know it. I wasn't it. talking about you, you last night. You know it's night. a lie, Marty. I'm you not talking dumb. about you tonight. You're, I here am you are. not fucking dumb. You chase you me now. You are a piece of fucking shit, Marty. You chase me now, Cyrax. 
Why would I want to waste my time chasing you, down a little fucking fat ass like you? I wasn't talking about you last night. Five fucking steps to the I wasn't talking about you last night. Out. There you are. Nigga, you take five steps to the fridge you are. and worn out, you lazy ass fucking I tried to kick bro. you off like a bunch of times, and you kept coming back. Dude, you are lazy You kept you coming are. back, Cyrus. All, all you do is sit there on your ass all day. Oh, yeah. Like, no, I'm totally matter of fact, Courtney can't test to this every fucking day. I'm constantly doing streams, constantly put, trying to put out music, yeah. constantly trying to when get was last time you left the house? all while being held back by a little bitch. When was like the last you, time you left the house? Or, or people like you that think. Sorry, when when was the last time you left the house? Matter of fact, matter of fact, hold up. He when was the last time you left the house, Sorry, About little trolls like you. Hold Where'd up. you go? What'd you do? Hold on, hold on. Can you let, let me show you exactly. How I feel about the trolls. Hold oh up. God. No, no, no. Now, let me, let me explain no, to you. No, please, oh, no. 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 Oh, no. You did God, this, Marty. You did this. Don't let him do this. You did this. Is, is he up here trying to promote his music right now? He is. Hey, matter of fact, Marty, this explains right here in Nobody full cares. how I feel about you fucking trolls and the whole fucking community of you, you, Sorry, I got a question for you. Uh, how are you always hard when you pull hey, your friends off to start messing with right No! No! <laughs> no! no! Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, we get it. We get it. Okay? That's enough. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Who's that tough guy? Who's that big muscle guy? That guy is the type of guy who doesn't have to hide behind his grandmother when confrontation arises. Who's Tom McDonald? Is that him? Oh is that God. Tom McDonald? Why are you doing this, Sir X? Look and that's around. facts, Marty. That is straight fucking fucking Did he just say he's super sound? No. Let, let me explain this sound. to you, Marty. Plain and simple. Oh Compared to you, I am a fucking I, rock star. Unlike is. you, bro. Everybody knows who the fuck I am. Regardless of whether they love me or hate me, I don't give a shit. If you rock with me, hey, that's awesome. If not, hey, that's cool, too. I get more views than you, Marty, let's be fucking honest here. I get and more views, though. Real. No one really knows who the fuck you are. No oh. one really gives a fuck about I'd like to keep it that are. way. I'd like you to keep it that way, to be honest. Matter of fact, Courtney can do it right now. She can sit there and type my name in on YouTube. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thousands of fucking videos pop Let's do it. up. Let's do it. Me. Listen, let's go to channels and check Marty, right now. Compared okay. to me and you, you're a fucking down, loser. Sorry. A bum. Matter of sure. fact, go ahead and pull it up, Courtney. Yeah, let's see this shit. Yeah. Well, 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 let's show this motherfucker who's the real This one's got 41,000 views. Thank you. A life of lies. Thank you. <laughs> it's called this a life of lies. Spooky tuning 12K. You, you yeah. punk ass. I do fucking numbers. Okay, let's let's go, baby. Fuck I am, um, bro. They I don't know? know who you are. For you do it on your own? Bro. Only at work. And, and whether people like me or not, guess Boy? what? Nobody I does. don't fucking care. It's, really it's don't Cyberhex, S Y B E R Hex. So let's just look at view count here, okay? Oh, okay. cyber. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Cyber, S Y B. Right there. Let's, and sorry, actually, let's, let's write Oh, the record deal. That was a good one. Marty, regardless of the name. Okay. Yeah, right there, that first one. Yeah. Yeah, so let's click on the channel. Let's well, well, let's be honest here, Marty. Okay, 500, uh, unlike you, 400, bro. Unlike 900. you, Marty, yeah. that sub count don't mean shit. Oh. Okay? See, unlike you, Marty, regardless of whether my channel is up to where it once was or not. It never was. You've never gotten to more than, like, 1,200. See, See, you try to be the – you're You've trying never to got more than 1,200. Is, you never will outdo me, Marty. I oh fucking God. beat the goddamn YouTube system, bro, and you know this. You know this as oh well as God. I do, old boy. I fucking got a thousand subs and two can you, fucking can you months, your question? I have a very And I'm about question. to do it again for a second time, dude. Sorry, right. Right. Don't shit compared to me, kid. You're a fucking Because I'm like a stuffed bro. turkey. That doesn't do anything, bro. Can I ask you? I'm all done.
JL has just donated $1.99 through Super Chat. Cyrax or the Walkers Texan Rangers? I'm conflicted. Mm, mm, indeed. Thank you very much. Let's skip ahead, folks. Because it's the usual. Oh, he's standing up. He's really mad now. The other night, when she oh. called you on your shit, mm. she said it best the other night when she straight said, You're a narcissistic fucking asshole. She oh. said it best. You are a piece of fucking shit that well, has no morals. Jasmine says it, then it's true. You have no yeah. morals, bro. Unlike you, bro. Unlike you, I actually have real fans. I have real oh my friends. God. You yeah. might not think I do, but in all actuality, I fucking Danny do. Buys your music, matter, so fact, right? matter of fact, Who one does? of my boys, Danny, that lives over in Norway. I was just hanging out with him on FaceTime a little bit ago, bro. If you don't believe me, you check jerk my off for him too? Discord. Check my fucking Facebook, bro. Dude, is it Dana weird? He just, said, he just admitted that he gets hard for me. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely sus. I mean, yeah. it's 2022. He, he came one time. He came <laughs> one time. <laughs> Let's be honest here, Marty. Compared to me, you're a nobody, bro. He came Compared one to time. Me, you're a joke, bro. How weird you is that? You call me a joke, but why don't we be honest here, Marty? He did. You always chase clouds. He came. You're a cloud chasing bitch. And when you laugh, I know what that laugh means. Bro. Cyrex, can you please address this? Did you really come and, and shout Marty's name? No, he didn't oh, shout my no, name. Not even. But he came. Not he came. even. Bro. Not even. <laughs> you're always hard. I don't know who the fuck said that, but y'all are hearing this. Oh, he just admitted you're always hard, Cyrex. I didn't fucking do that. He just admitted you're always hard. Marty, why don't you take your fucking bum ass the fuck back to circle? Right, if you get a boner for a man. As a matter of fact, hey, Courtney. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is Circle K not hiring where Marty's at? Correct me if I'm wrong. Are they Circle K is probably hiring where you're at, Cyrex? Well, here's the thing. Here's the Marty, thing. But here's the hang on. Hold on, Marty. Thanks to him, thanks to Marty and Master War Force. Oh, have you applied? I actually am having a very hard time getting a job, seeing as what yeah. they oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't have that luxury of getting that job. But Marty, Circle I'm pretty sure I can back them. I'm pretty sure if you beg the Circle K where you at, they might hire you as a janitor. They might hire you as janitor a janitor at Circle K? I mean, Marty, if you want to, I, I mean, think I, that exists. Oh, up there, I can help you get a job up there, bro. That's clearly you need it, bro. It's pretty damn clear that you need a job more than I do. I, mean, I, I, I think you should you document know. yourself showing Marty how to get a job, Cyrax, by yeah. you doing it. Here's the thing. That's how you could teach <laughs> Marty to really get a fucking job and stop being a bum. Let me explain something. Just like I didn't have any help when I came up, why is this? Wait, why came up. Let me ask you something, bro. Let me ask you something. Came up jerking off the green. Why should I help? A selfish fucking, no talent having, little fucking asshole that's done nothing but bully me for the last five years, who ultimately, who ultimately, damn near got my fucking head blown the fuck off a week ago. Why how, did you, how did your head almost get blown off? Dude, did you, wait, do you not know about that? Hold on, back up. Do you honestly not know about that? No, I mean. Uh, hey, hang on. Mike, do you honestly not know about that, dude? Oh, my God. Nope. Right, I have so no idea. Andrew, you almost got your head blown up. I know Courtney knows about it. As a matter of so fact, it's explain why you're always hard when you talk to me. I spoke about it. So, Marty, if you would kindly keep your trap shut. Hey, Marty, if you would kindly shut that hole in your face. Please you know, explain why you're hard for me when you talk to me and whip your penis so, off. Mike, well, let me explain something, bro. This is what happened. Okay. I was on live stream and I was telling Marty straight up. I was I was trying to be nice to the guy. I was telling him straight up that if he keeps doing the shit he's doing like he's doing all the time, that eventually he's gonna do that shit to the wrong person and they're not gonna think twice. I'm sorry, Wilson donated two dollars through super chat. Strange things are afoot at Circle K. Indeed, indeed. Thank you very much, Wilson. It's about coming out there and beating his ass because they're not going to take that shit like I took it. They're not going to put up with that shit. It's always and hard. So, so I sat there right after that and I, around, and I gave him a shut up, Marty. It's true. Fuck up, man. It's true. It's and so here's weird. The thing. Here's it's the thing. So right weird, after that, so right. Hang on. 
right after I said that, Mikey, I turned right around and I was straight yeah. up on it. I gave everybody a warning straight up that yeah. anybody was thinking about coming here to do harm to me or my family, <laughs> I would not hesitate to protect my family, yeah. even if it meant putting a bullet in someone's head. Not that I want to shoot anybody, but when it comes to my family, but, I but you said that. your head almost got blown yeah. off. Not that you almost right, blew so, someone so else's head off. This, 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 I'm getting to that. I'm getting Snacks to that. knows how to shoot all right. He's he shot when he was talking to this me. Like what happened <laughs> right after I said that, and I was on live stream when this happened. Marty had one of his little goonies call up the police saying that I was threatening to shoot them, and that if the cops showed up here, that I would shoot them as well. But not even 10, 15 minutes oh later, God. they show up. Knock on my fucking door, flashlight my fucking face, and mind you, this is like eleven o'clock at night. This is all going down. Keep in mind, they have fucking flashlights out. Tony, come out with my hands up. Are you hard right now? What, 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 what do I see? What do I see when I walk out of that porch? Ten fucking pistols staring me right in the fucking face because of a bullshit ass lie. Are you hard right now? I say, dude, staring down the barrel of a fucking pistol, let alone ten of them, is not a fun experience. My Neither is putting a stylus in your dick, I heard. I, I'll be honest, dude. I honestly think that, that right. my family was more afraid than I was. I honestly feel like my family was more freaked out than I was. <laughs> but and but I was why like, why would they have guns on you? Aren't you, like, well-known in your area? Like, don't the cops, aren't they yeah, very they well-acquainted they with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but because of people like Marty. Because of people like Marty. Because of people like Marty, bro, they don't want to do anything. Oh, because yes. they think I'm crazy, but really, let's look at the facts here, Mike. Let, let's look yeah. at the facts here, bro. Yeah. If you, if you, let's be honest, bro. <laughs> if you were a cop, if you were a police officer, and you that saw is very all true. the shit going on, would you honestly think that I'm out of my mind, yeah. given everything that's going on? For sure. Uh, honestly, Cyrax, I, I, yeah, I, I probably would. <laughs> but how, how can you sit there and say that I'm crazy when it's, this shit is actually happening? How can you sit there and claim that I'm crazy when all this shit is actually happening? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense, bro. And besides, I'll be straight up honest with you, Marty. The police don't have that right to live with me as a 43. That has to go through a fucking doctor or a judge. You jerk off with pepperoni. Call them constantly. Let's about be honest, you're on the internet. This shit. Okay, you're a, let, you're let's be honest, you're compared to right? me, you're nobody. You think that you have a record deal? Bag, bro. You think that you're a celebrity? Marty, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you're outside your house, ready to pop you. You're a forty three. Hey, Marty, why are you telling you're, the whole you're mentally you're disturbed person? Hey, Marty, right? Marty, why, 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 <laughs> that's why PBS is coming by. That's why they come by to interview you because you're insane. Hey, Marty, I can keep Why annoying you all fucking night, Marty. I'm just telling you. I can you. That's keep this all night and annoying you, Marty. <laughs> you have yeah, in-home yeah, mental health treatment. Laughing, you don't want to participate in. But you need. You that's why you're a 43. And matter of fact, if you guys aren't aware yet. So why do you have PBS coming by your house, Tyrex? And the best thing is you think it's the news station. You think it's PBS, the news station, but it's really like mental health caseworkers. Why, is your why, grandmother's trying to get you put into a medical dispute? Do you, you think it's a documentary? Hey, That's why you're 43. Hey, boy. What more do you need, hey, sir? That's insane. You should have died instead of Jamie, Marty. Oh, okay. You should have well, died instead of maybe, Jamie, maybe, you fat maybe, fucking bitch maybe, boy. Maybe, sure, okay. You should be dead instead of her, bro. You really okay. should. Because you'd be doing nice. the fucking world a goddamn favor if you were. And hey, let's be honest here, Marty. Let's tell the fucking truth about how you threatened to rape me and kill my family. Yeah, that, yeah and I'm going to. Let's be fucking honest here, bro. I yeah. have the proof sitting So, so why does it? Why did you? Why does your dick get hard for Marty if he's threatened to rape you? Because he wants it. No, that's not it. <laughs> why is it hard? This guy's a fucking moron. No, that, no that's not why your dick gets hard, Tyrax. That's hey, not why your dick gets hard. This bastard, right quick. Okay, why fine. do you meet this fat fucking tub of hard way? Answer the question, I'll be muted. Hey, let, let, let me explain something to you, Marty. You okay. want to know what gets me off? The fact of knowing that you're never going to beat me ever. And okay. I'm not going no. anywhere. It's literally hard. Soon. And the fact it's that I'm actually going talking. to be able to do something with my life while you okay. sit there on your ass because like a fucking nobody 
sitting there attacking me. Because, Marty, while I'm actually becoming <laughs> successful, you're going to be reason. stuck at the same That's spot. not a reason. And, Marty, I don't give a That's fuck not a real what reason. you think. I don't give a can't. fuck what anybody thinks about me, bro. <laughs> Say what you want. hard right now? Me. Ask me if I give a flying fuck, but you bro. get a boner for me. Compared to me, Marty, you are a pussy-ass coward. So I give you boners. All you can do is sit on your ass and talk shit. I give All you bonus. You do is sit on your ass it. and talk fucking shit, just like every other fucking troll. But all yet, right, right, every right, time right, you try right. to talk to this guy from being so fucking lazy, you fucking idiot. Really Cyrax, is, is it is it true that you and Heather and her friend used to have a threesome? Who? Michael? Here's some tea. Yeah. No. Wait, the, hold, on, hold on. What was that question? Did, didn't you and Heather and, and Michael used to all mess around or something? No. Him and Michael just had a twosome. Actually, no, Marty. I don't know who the <laughs> fuck. See, this is what I love. I you love sucked out the blind kid and you jerk off men on the internet, Cyrax. I love it. Why is that far fetched? Here Why we go again with a fake ass story. What's next? I do all the. What's next? <clears throat> I do drugs. I snore coke. What's next? You should. What the fuck? What's next? What's I next? Am I related to Osama bin Laden? I'll tell you what, is if you snorted that, coke, you probably wouldn't be so hard friend? around Marty. I love it. I love, yep. I love this shit. This is great. Like, hey, Courtney, I honestly find this shit funny. You hear all this shit? I get a crack out of this because I know damn well it ain't true. I know it ain't true. My friends and family know this shit ain't true. And the motherfuckers that make it shit up know it ain't true either. So, I love it. I, well, what's next? I'm going to hey, the sorry, Why did you listen to me having oh, sex the other night? Like, I really can't get around yeah. that. Uh, weird apparently, thing. apparently, from what I'm hearing, all uh, makes apparently, sense. apparently, what's next? Apparently, I'm going to Jupiter next. Fuck yeah. yeah to- so uh, that's what's new with Cyrax, folks. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll let Marty take- and then we got the idea. We'll be right back after these messages. I should have been entitled to make this channel where I could have made money. But no, that four eyes, ugly, disgusting little prick by the name of Shiva had to get me demonetized. So now, I'm gonna purposely live on the government's dime. I'm gonna purposely collect food stamps. I'm gonna purposely live on your tax dollars. Do you know, Dragon, I one time restreamed one of my broadcasts and made almost $1,200 in super chats? Yeah, Dragon, I stealing my content one broadcast over twelve hundred dollars in in revenue that could have been mine should have been mine so my mother had a deformed fucking pussy her pussy wouldn't open wide enough so i would come out of my mother's pussy do you get it do i have to put it this way Cause you're not getting it otherwise. First call for Juan Zarate comes from Sacramento, California. Go ahead, Craig, on our Republican line. Oh, gosh, you did a text now, number. You just made me late for my doctor's appointment. You fucking <laughs> I mean, yeah. Give me the fuck you know what Give me the fuck you know what I'm doing. Give me the fuck you know what I'm doing. Well, speak about the internet when it comes to terrorism. Why do you finger blast your dog? Bye, asshole. Oh.
It's just been going on for like nearly five fucking years. Let's fucking stop! Yeah, okay. You can yell, but you're still a pet, Rick. Like, no, I'm not! Just Fuck off, it. you fucking stupid cunt! Jesus. Hello? I would say I'm just kidding, but that would just arouse you and Poon. He's standing in the grill. He's dying of AIDS, guys. This Rick! No Black matter. Any more right, toilet inside, guys? Inside, guys? Because I'm so fucking pissed off at the moment. I'm not a fucking pedophile. I'm not a dog abuser. I don't fuck snakes. Kind of true. Oh, I, I, hate I hate n****. I hate n****. I... Oh, hi. Hi, Peter. I don't have fucking cancer, guys. Delete all these fucking assholes. I'm just it's because they, they can't saying... get to me. They, <laughs> got, they can't get to it. Martin. They gotta get to me. That's why I said this. Fucking fed up with these fucking people. I'm not a fucking nonce. I'm not a fucking dog abuser. I go away. If you don't like me, fuck off. I'm just fucking fed up of it, uh, guys. Just fucking fed up of it. Cause I, because you lot can't get to Martin, you gotta get to me. That's what it all can't. Can. No, I'm not fucking calm and done. I'm fucking pissed off with everything. Fucking fed up. Even the dog is hard enough. If this dog did not fucking uh, believe I was abusing him, he won't have to do this. Oh, oh. fuck off, you fucking stupid cunts. Had enough. Enough is enough. Who's this? It's probably the pizza. Oh, pizza no, pizza man. No, no, I don't know who is this. I hope it's not Rise. That would be bad. Come to my fucking ass, Charles. And I will fucking <laughs> duck you one. I rise, will fucking duck you one. That was and I dish. fucking mean it. Imagine just seeing a scrap between Rick and Rise. Like Come and see it to my fucking know. face. <laughs> so no one he's brought sandwiches. I'm not with Jay. I'm not with anyone. Now fuck off. Rick, what are your thoughts on the Russian invasion of Ukraine? Fuck off. Fucking fed up with all, all of you just rather fucking you know we could be dead uh, next year if if the Russians pull into the, our country and you want to throw people offline you bunch of fucking idiots I wasn't even doing anything to them kids it was all Martin said it in your fucking evidence now Fuck off! I will say that I'm because very proud of you. Because you can't get to Martin, you gotta get to me. Nothing's a fucking nut. So they wouldn't give this him his legs. This has been going on for like six yeah. fucking years. My husband did it all. Not me. Now fuck off. I know I said some fucking dumb shit to fucking get views. Now I regret that. Wish I never met Carl in the fucking first place. Because he's a Fucking problem. Even JJS three times is a fucking problem here. I think JJS oh, is a problem. Oh, I would love to fucking car. go up there. Fucking strike with a fucking cunt. Yeah, like he always threw everyone under the bus. Yeah. Wish he was fucking dead. Be careful what you say. Uh... No, I am being careful what I'm saying, but he's a fucking cunt like he is. How am I the one who's left? I never even touched any fucking kids. You fucking are bad. Fuck if he's not the kind of fucking white kid! Now I'm seriously gonna fucking hurt myself tonight! Fuck you guys! Peter should be. If I was a fucking pedophile, I would have been in fucking prison in my fucking ass face! But I'm not! Fucking gonna fuck straight! I'm livid at the moment! I'm fucking livid! I did not message any children. IP2 always with. Okay, IP2. You put it, it's not even IP2 trolling you. It's, they're fucking with you. All I want to do is fucking stream on YouTube. Why the fuck have I got to be fucking trolled? Guys, does that mean I'm a troll? If I said dumb shit. It is my <laughs> choice if I want to be with my husband. Not your fucking choices. Anymore. If I want to be with my husband, I'd be with my fucking husband. Not your choice. Now leave me the fuck alone. Just had a fucking laugh tonight with these 
fucking trolls. Leave me the fuck alone. If you don't fucking leave me alone, I will fucking dox every motherfucking one of you lot. Hello? Nah, fuck off, you fucking stupid cunt. Use that virus fucking name! Has an F now! Has it all! No, I'm not in the psycho fucking world. You fucking not bad. I am home. In my own fucking home. In my own fucking bed. I am not in a ward hospital. I am home. In my own fucking place. So, for some people that may be lost and don't know the tragic story of Rick Barry, here's the synopsis. He uh, is a friend of Emo's and the Shrimp and Trucker. He was uh, married to a guy named Martin who is currently serving time for molesting and doing heinous things to a couple children that Rick Barry introduced him to. Now, Rick himself has never been convicted of it, convicted of touching any children or anything of that nature, but he has confessed to watching child pornography with his husband who is now serving time and having getting rid of a flash drive before the investigation. So and he's also said that he'll go back to his husband. So you take that as you want. What does what does that make Rick? Now obviously he is, you know, he doesn't have everything connecting, but he knows what he does. Uh, he's H- supposedly HIV positive, and he continues to meet men online. Now, what's going on here? He is raging at people in the comment section of his YouTube streams that are criticizing him for these ex- activities. So that that's what's going on. If you're brand new, folks, please thumbs up the video. All that good stuff. We got more to come. Much more to come. Let's Max go. is on the bed with me. Now, fuck off. Amy Schumer tried to get to right, so do a- I'm going to give it to you now. I'm going to give it to you now. Go to fucking to the police station and find out if I am a pedophile. I bet there's no fucking evidence out there. I can't be right there if I wasn't around. He did it all up his sister-in-law's. That fucking night. Now fuck off. You fucking pedo fat lovers. Fuck off. Okay. Yeah, I got HIV. I was never fucking fucking kid with HIV. I was never fuck Martin with my fucking HIV either. I'm the one who's got HIV. I was, I have never fucked Martin up the ass. I've never fucked <laughs> up the fucking ass. Now fuck off. We'll be right back after these messages. Well, folks, can you say merch? That's right. You can now get quality merchandising for folks by folks. We got face masks, coffee mugs, t-shirts, tote bags, and even this thing over here. So what are you waiting for? Come and get your quality folks merch today. For folks by folks. Hey, guys. So obviously... You all see, like, all these (laughs) basic bitches. First of all, these basic bitches on TikTok, just run far away from them because it just means TikTok, your time has run out. And you know how they banned TikTok in America here a a few years back. It was God's way of saying enough of this. Everyone who's still on there is going to hell. And that's why there hasn't been any app app updates, you know, because it's an app from China. And it got banned here. And, you know, the only people on there are literally degenerates. And it's like people who are like, TikTok, your time has run out, you know. Uh, high quality Proverbs 31 women, like me, or shall I say Proverbs 31 woman, because there's only one, <laughs> you know, it, it's describing me, the wife of Jesus. That's why in Proverbs 31, it says her husband receives praise at the gate. Who is that? That's Jesus, right? Uh, so... But I wanted to tell you because, you know, there's so many women out there, basic bitches now waking up all dry, you know, (laughs) haggard and 
they're all wondering, like, where are all the good men? Where have they gone? And you kill them all. You kill them all. The Bible literally says of the whore of Babylon, you know, like you are sit on the ground, you whore. You know, the Bible literally says sit on. She's going to sit on the ground. No longer will you be known as, you know, queen of kingdoms because, you know, how all these uh, self-proclaimed like boss bitches like oh we're queens they used to always say that and boast themselves against me you know remember all this all these years I've been wearing no makeup just wearing my you know <laughs> religious attire all these years you know it because y'all been watching me and then they would make fun of me and say all these things and call themselves queens like oh we're queens you know black women we queens you know we queens and now look at them. They're pathetic and loathsome to all mankind. Like all the women. All the women. They have become a, a, a tr atrocious to all mankind everywhere. And then they're wondering like where are all the good men? You know. You kill them. The Bible literally says all of her soldiers. All of her warriors faint. They die. They lie in the streets. They have been slain. There's no more. You kill them all. And right here. This is me talking to you. Me. Your mother. Because heavenly Jerusalem is the mother to all. But let me warn you, my sons, about this. Look, I literally tell you this too. Look, with her enticing speech, she caused him to yield with her flattering lips. She seduced him. Immediately he went after her as an ox goes to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till an arrow struck his liver as a bird hastens to the snare he did not know it would cost his life see so all you all you uh, people all you men out there uh you know you didn't know better my people are destroyed for their lack of knowledge says the lord so when you go after these like quote unquote bad bitches like they're literally gonna kill you bro now therefore listen to me my children my sons pay attention to the words of my mouth do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. I need Do TV not stray so into her path, for now. she has cast. Rick Barry donated five dollars through super chat. Uh -oh, Just here we because go. I gave my husband a BJ while we both watch CP definitely Ugh. does not mean that I endorse CP. Mm. Even though I destroyed evidence of said CP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brutal, but true. Savage, but true. Thank you. Folks, so this is the part of the video that gets very loud with Tila. This is fresh off the press. Folks. Cast down many wounded, and all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. That's Proverbs uh, 7. I'll listen in the description box, but these women, they have literally killed all their own men. <clears throat> they call them dusties and all this, you know, disgusting, you know. But you men, see, because of you st you stuck your penis in, in these uh, harlots, cause you to die. And you, you, they have all died. So where have all the good men gone? They're dead. They're dead because the whores of Babylon have killed they ate up their own men and they spit them out and now there's no more men for you now you this is your judgment you will be forever alone right now they might think oh i don't care i'm good i'm good wait till you're 50 wait till you turn 60 and you fall down and you you need to go grocery shopping you have no strength left you too will soon perish just like what's his face this is the judgment y'all don't have no more time left tick tock get your ass off tick tock because time already ran out for you We'll be right back after these messages. 90% of what I do is just stuff to entertain now. And my wife is the same. But it's like I was getting sick and no one fucking I'm, I'm so fucking leave and I've been, I've been smoking. You want to keep me down and never have me have any. What do you do? You fucking have consuming your whole day. I want this really known that most of what I do is performance art. So don't come here looking for serious shit. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hmm? Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to, um, get rid of this guy because he has a racist name. So go be a racist somewhere else. 
No, he. My God, that's horrible. Come on, dude. I've never heard about that. It's kind of funny. Well, that's it's not funny. Just troll, just stupid trolling, like big boy. You know. <laughs> Well, we're, we 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 refrained from that now, Zach. So we, we don't say to, it. We, 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 yeah. I, I just... Yeah, I know you find it funny. I you don't... shouldn't find. All right, all right, all right. So happy Mother's Day. Here is a the part of the voyage. Listen, this is the stuff. These are the little things. These are the nuggets that got dropped through the cracks, folks. Of the summer of Shanny. <laughs> the call of Shamu pulling her like a magnet back to her home, the Atlantic. She's made it to PA. Yes, Shani has overcome the forces of magnetism for now and plopped herself, planted herself in PA. But this was the fateful voyage. And this is the stuff, folks, that makes. A golden lulls cow winner. Just out of curiosity, here we are. We're entering the spring. We're in May. We have just moved. May the 4th be with you. Revenge of the 5th has moved past. Now we are on the 6th. Folks, who should be this year's prospects so far? So far. Who should be this year's prospects? But I want you to listen and listen carefully. As the child says... You know what word, you, well, if you don't know what word they're talking about, listen carefully again, because the child will clear it up exactly what word they're talking about, that they hear mummy say all the time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They're going to be so many rooms where you can Hmm? Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to um, get rid of this guy because he has a racist name. So go be a racist somewhere else. Hello? No, he. My God, that's horrible. <laughs> Come on, dude. I've never heard about that. It's kind of funny. Well, that's it's not funny. Just troll, just stupid trolling, like big boy. You know. <laughs> no, I, I just find it funny when you guys say it. Well, we're, we 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 refrained from that now, Zach. So we, we don't say to, it. We, 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 yeah. I, I just. Yeah, I know you find it funny. I. You I, shouldn't find that funny. That's a horrible word, and it means lower than human. Yeah. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. No. It's not. He knows. Yeah. He's smart. He knows. Right. He, is, he just finds it funny. <laughs> Maybe the word sounds funny. It right? does. It sounds weird. Yeah. The word. So it's like, it's kind of, it, I don't know, it rolls off the tongue or something. And it's yeah, funny. but they find it funny to, like... <laughs> you know? Oh, Zach? Oh, my. Zachary? It rolls off the tongue. I want to put that back. Rev. He's our Jack Sparrow of the internet, folks. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. No. It's not. He knows. Yeah. See, he's smart. He knows. Right. He, is, he just finds it funny. <laughs> Maybe the word sounds funny. Dude. It does. It sounds weird. Yeah. The word. So it's like, it's kind of, it, I don't know, it rolls off the tongue or something. Yeah, funny. but they find it funny to, like... <laughs> Don't say it. I said Nick. Oh, Zach? Oh, my. Zachary Gaddis. Sorry. Now you shut up. Ah, oh, say it. There you go. <laughs> Don't you ever say that again. No, 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 no. That's not a funny word. No. Why are you saying that? No. That's what kids do. They press. They push yeah. the line. Yeah. Push it. Yeah. No. You're gonna get flagged for that video. Now. Definitely. Don't do that. You gotta start a new stream. No. Okay. It's fine. Okay. That was real. Zach. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been telling you not to swear, but yet you do it over and over again. No, Zach, you're 12 years old. They're more concerned about the stream getting hit. That's the thing. That's like Vaughn and them. It's like none of them are actually concerned about the racial or homophobic slurs that people are saying. You know, 
It's just other than it's going to be a strike against them, right? Oh, goodness. Speaking of that, remember Rick? Not Rick Barry that we just watched, but John's friend Rick that ratted him out for shitting all over the bathroom. And, well, actually, John ratted himself out for that. But you know who I'm talking about? Anyways. I know we cuss. I'm sorry. But you shouldn't be. Do as I say, not what I do. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I apologize. It is for now. Yeah, that's right. Do as I say, not as I do. We're adults. We can't curse. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, he didn't say the N word. Oh. He didn't say it. He didn't actually. He alluded to it. You, did you hear what he said? Yes, he didn't say it fully. I cut him off. I'm, I apologize. I'm embarrassed, but I apologize. Well, technically, you didn't cut him off. You didn't cut him off. You were transfixed on the chat. It took a second to register, and then you were like, Zach! <laughs> he said half of it. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. That's good. You Do you know that. I got canceled for that word? Okay. And harassed them for. It's not funny. A long time. <laughs> but have you been watching shows on YouTube that been saying that? I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Zach. No. Okay. Good. No, well, it's not a funny word. It's an awful word, yeah, and is. you can be completely... Your whole life could be destroyed because of it, and yep. it's not worth saying. It's not worth fighting people to say it. No. It's just it's just better just to shut up and not say it. Yep. All right, buddy. Like, I, I repent from ever saying something like that. I don't want to ever say something like that again. Me too. It was a horrible event. Um... And it took me a long time to move on. I had to get therapy because of it. So, like... Yeah. So, it like, it's not good to do stuff like that. Yeah, it's just bad. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Zach has a, word, has a swearing habit. Well, I know. Yeah, you have none. Your, your, your mouth is totally clean, which is so good, but... The only time was I really swear is... When I specifically ask, <laughs> that's very rare. Oh my God, it's, you're rare. No donkey, that it. Wait, here, let me, let me. No donkey, that's not what happened. That's what the idiot trolls are saying to make us look bad, even though it's not true at all. Germany, you will get a fine for flipping the bird. That's awesome, actually. Excuse me? It keeps people polite. I Better than G people being abused. Get a hold of G now. I'm sorry Wilson donated $5 through Super Chat. Funny how Shani is willing to cut her son off saying a racial slur. But wouldn't cut Rev off when he threatened to beat the kids. Badoom ching zing. Good point. You get ten internet points for that, Wilson. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Will. No. Uh yeah, that's actually stifling. That's un American. That is un American. <laughs> You're, yeah, it is. You're stifling speech, man. Give me a break. That's ridiculous. Alright, alright. I know where not to live now, Germany.
We'll be right back after these messages. Yep, got the prop off. Are you gonna, you gonna swing it out? Just, just, I'm just gonna chuck it out the window and see what happens. So we're gonna chuck this thing like a football. Oh, it's oh. Keep an eye on the poles. Yeah, you got it. If you're speaking of Scar Wars, yes. If there's something else, then no, possibly not. So this is Rick. Not Rick Barry, but almost as bad. Drunk Rick. Um, and J-Dubs at the lake. Being buddies, fishing. Pay very close attention to the end of this clip, folks. We got these little goddamn ducks following us in our good old spot. So let's see what happens when I go out here. Don't chase those babies. Watch what happens. Okay, I'm recording it. Go get the babies. babies. Alright, Rick's gonna go get the babies. Oh, they're leaving. They're just gonna I go in for a pants. swim. I got pants on. <laughs> they can bite me a little bit, but not much. Not much. Alright, All right, they're not gonna they're not gonna stay around. They're leaving. I should take a rock and throw one, hit one and then catch it and bring it over. That's right. We don't like your kind around here. Get it lost. I'll bring it back to Pete's yeah. and let it loose in the yard. Or bring it into the house. You de Pete would definitely kill you, and he has guns, so I'd be watching out for that. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so you can look up here, dude, and this time of type of day, look. Look, you see those, you see those logs, how they're yeah. crossed? Yeah. That's why you can't go over that, because, man, you'll get snagged easy. You get snagged, yeah. Unless you got a weedless on, but I'm not using my weedless for Let's not use weedless. Let's just use whatever we've been using. No, they're good for rocks, but I think most of the time we're getting snagged up. It's not the hooks. I think it's the, the sinking. Look at the little girl with like, the little 15 year old that was here yesterday. She'd like it now. There, there are all kinds of little ones out here. Eh, maybe we'll see our friend again. All right. Oh, look, remember? I, I don't know if you guys remember in the J Dub saga, not long before the uh, wife arc of the story. <laughs> there was the accusation made by this man here. Now, take it with a grain of salt because it's this man here. That J-Dubs was flirting with some 15-year-old girly girl on the bike. There are all kinds of so let's, ones let's check that again. Eh, maybe we'll see our friend again. All right. Maybe we'll see our friend again. Well, let's pull back a little bit more. What did you say, Rick? I think most of the time we're getting snagged up. It's not the hooks. I think it's the, the sinking. Look at the little girl with like, the little 15 year old that was here yesterday. She'd like it now. There, there are all kinds of little ones out here. Eh, maybe we'll see our friend again. Oh. All right. We'll be not back. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Out of my mother's house. So if the Frost suddenly produced legal documents with their names on them, that's fraud. That is a felony. So, folks, this is one that may be lost in time. If someone actually has the original of this, please reach out to me. Uh, I'm sure, like, Irv ruined his own life or someone grabbed this. But this is from Vaughn's um, Twitch, which has been long gone. It's gone now. And this is actually when shit hit the fan regarding uh, his mother, unfortunately, passing away. This is the birth of the $7,000 
scam that Von Helden tries to perpetrate, but doesn't last long. So this was an epic stream. So we're going to let Von give it some context. Obviously, we can't cover all five hours, five plus hours of it. Now, I don't have the original, but I did stream it at the time. And I knew enough to keep my mouth shut for most of it. So we don't have to listen to me, <laughs> Babylon. But we can uh, listen to Von Babylon and spin his web of deceit. So this is fresh. And I think if we listen closely, there'll be some interesting little tidbits that Vaughn probably hopes is lost, but we got it. We're always listening. Folks, please thumbs up. Let's do a little flashback here. And that gets tacked on to the murder charge. Mm. Okay, so if they've got five documents in their possession, that's five counts of fraud, that's five felonies, on top of the murder charge felony that they already are uh, are going to get. Okay, you get it? You understand? But yeah, all of my mother's legal documents were stolen out of her house, which means if they have legal documents in their possession, they are fake as a $3 bill. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there are 25,000 of you. You don't even have to give your name. All you got to do is go to the FBI's IC3 website and fill it out and give links to all these assholes that are, that are harassing my family and that caused my mother to die, caused my children to be stolen, and caused um, um, my wife to be driven insane. And tell the FBI that. Tell them everything. Just put FBI IC3 website in a Google search. You, it'll, it'll take you right to the website. And then you fill out the form and then, and then hit send, and the FBI will take it from there. But if 25,000 of you contact the FBI, they won't have a choice. They'll have to investigate. They won't have a choice then because then it isn't just my word. It's y'all's word as well, not just mine. And, com- and the fact that there's 25,000 of you, they won't ignore it. They can't. They can't ignore that many people contacting them about one particular situation. They can't. Okay? They just can't. And good morning, Kim. We all be honest. How are you doing? Uh, She died at 2.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. And, um, you know, am I taking it kind of hard? A little bit. I am taking it a little bit. One thing I'm glad of knowing, though, boys and girls, and let's get this straight Eh, a little bit. One thing I'm very glad to know is that my mom didn't hate me. See, you got to understand what was going on behind the scenes. I thought my mother hated me all this time. But you know what I found out? I found out it was that piece of shit, James Arnold Frost, down the road from me here, that had been manipulating her for years. Manipulating her even when I wasn't even a legal adult yet. He was manipulating her. He was manipulating her. He's the one that started all these rumors about mom cheating on dad and dad cheating on mine, on mom so that they get a divorce. He was the one that started all this shit. He was the one that told her not to keep her agreement with me to pay off the student loans. Because if I've got a lot of debt over my head, I can't very well defend myself now, can I? Ah, good point, huh? Yeah, exactly. And that's why he told mom, said, don't keep the don't keep the agreement with him. See, it's all premeditated. All of this was premeditated years ago. It was all planned out years in advance. But they had been they had been influencing my mother for years and years and years. They've been influencing her for years. But, yeah, I've already contacted the media. So this shit's rolling. This shit's fucking rolling. And Clay County can't cover this shit up. No fucking way, because I ain't going to let them. I ain't going to let them. No fucking way. I ain't going to let them. You don't cover up murder. No fucking way. And like I said, I want every dime of my fucking money back. Every dime of it. The seven and a half million that the Frost stole from me. And if they got to give me that property, the Sester property, then oh well. Too bad, so sad. But you're going to give me back all everything I'm owed. And I want the two million back from Clay County CPS APS. Because CPS APS allowed the Frost to do this. Where was CPS APS when, when James Otto Frost was cleaning out my mother's bank account? Where the fuck were they? Oh, they had to thumb up their ass? Yeah, they, they knew exactly what the fuck they was doing, and they knew exactly what was going on. And they sat on their ass and did nothing. Okay, so yeah, CPS, Clay County CPS APS is implicated in this whole fracas. 
and I want my money back. Every penny of it. Every goddamn penny of it. Now, I might even charge interest. I don't know. We'll see. But I definitely want my money back. No doubt about it. But I am glad to know that my mom did not hate her son. That's the important takeaway from this, folks. The important takeaway from this is that she didn't hate me after all. And I got to find that out before she died. And that it was this piece of shit down the road here that had been manipulating her for years against her own son and against her husband, too. He was manipulating her against her husband and her son for years. Why do you think she sold the family business to some complete stranger in, in Columbus, Ohio? Why do you think she did that? She had been, I had been getting groomed to take over the family business. And she didn't sell it to me? Why? Oh, because she was being influenced. She was being influenced by the frost. Yes, buddy, she was. Yes, buddy, she was. My dad was teaching me how to, how to run and operate all the equipment in that facility so that I could take it over. How did I find all this out? Just a series of, of um, you know, uh, super sleuthing, man. You know, that's it. Just by super sleuthing. But yeah, a whole bunch of rumors were started that dad was cheating on mom and mom was cheating on dad. Where did them rumors come from? I need from? They come from that man right down the road there. Absolutely now. they did. Because Andrea Locke donated $5 through Super Chat. Oh, no, I'm folks. not insane, James. First just caught a taste for that BBC on the Greyhound. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That guy was clapping my cheeks like a standing ovation. Oh my goodness. Folks. Folks. Oh, the humanity. Because he's the one that stands to gain from it, see. He's the one that stands to gain from it. Did she, did she tell me anything? She told me some. She didn't tell me everything. She told me some. But I, I basically uh, got it through paperwork and due diligence and that sort of thing, you know. Yeah, well, it is sick. That's the thing. This is some sick shit. And the, and the bitch of it is it was started by a bunch of fuckwads on the Internet. That's the bitch of it. It did not. None of this had to happen. But I'm glad I'm glad now that it's over and that we can move on and that we can put uh, put these people in jail where they all belong and get this shit done and over with. But, yeah, she died Sunday morning at two thirty in the morning. The gods woke me up at two o'clock in the morning, said, get up, stay awake. I said, all right. I got up and I stayed awake. And then that was when the lady at the hospital called me. Uh, the the funeral home and cemetery are wanting seven thousand dollars to bury my mother. Why so much? I do not know because everything's supposed to have been paid for. I guess because of inflation and and taxes and that sort of shit. And so obviously I'm going to need money in order to bury my mother. That's just that simple. But yeah, this shit, uh, they're, they're, Clay County's not covering this one up. Sorry, you're not covering this one up. That's murder. And it's not going to be covered up this time. And I want every dime of my money back. Every penny. Every fucking penny of it. All right. Anyway, I got to get in there and get to cutting. Get this design started. Let me uh, uh, bring up my... Nobody cares. Let's go ahead. What is he going to do, folks? Let's go ahead. Let's skip ahead. Let's skip but ahead. she laid her pallet on the floor. She went to bed. Period. Oh. End of story. Some people are weird like that. Maybe she... Your email. Yeah, I did. So we're going to back it up where the lovely Ms. Parker and Nick Bravo join the scene here and bring some life to the conversation. Folks, this guy's such an idiot. He just put out a link for people to join, then he goes yeah. and builds his fucking foam airplane. Yeah. That's pretty much none deal all the way. It's all right. It is all right. Things going to be okay. Uh, all right. 
be okay. It'll be okay. Okay, folks, it's not an exact science. We're going to skip ahead here. You know, in the threefold here law, we go. which here we says go. that if here you do go. something bad to me, it's going to come back on you threefold. So, and many of us believe that. And so, you know. But is Alice's passing. Alice's passing who's puts the. threefold put, is that for? Like, Alice. Okay, Alice's passing puts the, puts the frost in a very bad position. Okay. Because they now have no excuse to be here. None. Remember, they're not from down here. They come down here from Ohio. Against my wishes, I might add. I told my mom, I said, Mom, don't bring them down here. I got a bad feeling. Well, wow, surprise. My bad feeling ended up being true. But, um, you know, I'm sure at the time, you know, they didn't believe me. You know, nobody believes me until the shit happens. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, Vaughn ended up being right after all. Wow, what a shock. But, uh, but you know, um, you know, I told mom, I said, I got a bad feeling. Don't bring them down here. And she moved Wasn't me that out like of 10 this. years ago? This was years and years yeah, ago. It was like, yeah, that's like 10, 12 years ago, right? Exactly. But see, that's the point. Uh, had they not, had she not brought them down here, none of this would be happening. None of it. Well, the trolls might still be happening. But the you know the the stealing of my inheritance money and you know doping her up with with uh, a very powerful psychotropic drug, you know giving her the giving her the shot behind my back the jab behind my back. Well, that shit the poison that, that creeps slow is the poison that hits low. Yeah, well, exactly right, and that's the thing, you know. Um, you know, they can say, "Oh, it's accidental." The fuck it is. They went behind well, my back. I'm her I medical to... power attorney. Okay, well, you know how I feel about the what you call the jab at her mm -hmm. age, at your age, with your health. At my age, I shouldn't be getting it. Fuck me. No, no, no. Okay, so folks, this is where I got to skip ahead. Of course, this is complete misinformation. It's, you know, Von Helton is a kook. Let's move ahead. Checks and disability. They even right, called the stimulus fucking, checks. Miss Parker, 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 hold on, Miss Parker. These Why? people called the fucking IRS and literally tried to get my tax return stopped. Von, okay, didn't you, didn't that is a whole new level of crazy. That is a whole. That Miss Parker, didn't you try to call the Parker on trolls? Miss Parker, that is a whole new level that. of crazy that no way you can defend that shit. A bunch of fuckwads on the internet called the IRS and try to get my goddamn tax returns kept for me. There's no way you can defend that, Miss Parker. Fun. No Nobody fucking way you can defend that shit. Fun. Fun. That shit makes sense, brother. Fun. We're not well, defending it. Fun. Listen, and, and exactly. Not I'm not defending the shit. I'm just saying it's fucking stupid. You keep engaging. Yeah. We're not, we're not defending it, Vaughn. We're telling you the reason they keep doing this shit is they like to see you get emotional and freak out. When I stopped having emotional freak outs on, the, on fucking YouTube, I, I lost a lot of trolls. Within a matter of months, half of them were gone. And the vast majority of them have never returned. They're doing it because they think it's fun. They like hurting you. But the fact that you're showing that you're in pain and you keep talking about it is why they keep doing it. Because like if, if they're fucking with the IRS or with Social Security, that stuff's between you and Social Security. It's not between you well, the and IRS the IRS. Is investigating. The IRS is well, investigating. They, so. they, they like hurting you. Okay, I mean, if there's an investigation, I'm sorry, Nick, to cut you off. If there is an active investigation, any any, any active fucking investigation, mm -hmm. the worst thing you could possibly do is talk about that shit online. 
Well, I'm not given specifics, so. No, you've ruined all of your cases. You've given no, specifics. Yeah, you no, have. No, if, in fact, you had any no, case whatsoever, sure. whatsoever yeah. you you out here talking about it is a fucking no. problem. Even if you don't talk about specifics, that you're, you're no. fucking up everything in your best right. interest. That's how people know that you really don't have cases. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like you're. Well, I'm glad you think there. that I don't because I do. I have, got, I have cases out there. I don't know how controlled they are. Forrest Witch, are you good or bad? Neutral. Neutral. Okay. Well, I've heard that line before, but I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm still fucking neutral, Vaughn. I just can't stand your shit. You you really <laughs> do a lot of shit, bro. And I do you, a lot of refuse, shit. Oh my you God. refuse to admit the fuck shit that you do. And honestly, what happened with Alice, I do believe a lot of that falls on you, brother. It no, it does. does not. Absolutely it does. Because you were the first you were the first responder. No matter how you cut the cheese, you're the first fucking responder. The camera in the no house was the first response. Vaughn, Vaughn, is Larry Sorry, meant to not sleep? At somebody that old, they say it happened in the middle of the night, Vaughn. Is she not meant to sleep ever? immediately go to check on them. You don't just leave them laying on the floor. Well, the thing of it is, the thing of it is uh, you know, like I said, anybody in my position would have said, oh, she, you know, she no, made no, it. No, 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 no. No one in your position would do that. Yes, they would. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, they would. Vaughn, I've had to help people that have been hit by fucking cars. I have had to help people that have been in all manner of issues, and I have basic first aid training. I've not worked in places around people that have had strokes or things like that, and now, I wouldn't have done oh, that. We don't know. We at the time there was no knowledge of a stroke or anything because like that. Because you did not, not give her the knowledge. medical attention that yes, she needed, and that's the, the problem. Uh, no actually, one would I think a ninety-two-year-old is normal. Go check on them. Okay, I did give her the medical attention she needed. No, she didn't. She waited by your own admission, minimum of an hour. You said you went in at eight. And I said it was an hour. I said the night. trolls were. Oh you my goodness sake! Oh you... my God! Hold on here, people. No, I did not say it was an hour. That was a lie. I did not say that uh, I did not give her medical attention because I did. I did not say that uh, it was my fault because it wasn't. What I did say is that why didn't Larry, if there was indeed a thud sound, a falling, if my mother fell. There would have been a loud noise. It would have went over them damn cameras. And so why didn't Larry respond? Why didn't let you know, it's it's wonderful to spin this shit back onto me. But remember, folks, Larry had cameras in my house illegally, and he would have heard any noise that she made. He would have heard any noise. She would have heard he would have heard her scream. He would have heard her fall. He would have heard her hit herself. He would have heard all that shit on the goddamn cameras. He would have heard it all. But yet he didn't respond. He didn't come over to the house. He didn't call the ambulance. He didn't do jack shit. But so it's real nice to spin this shit around and try to throw it back on me when Larry Frost already had those cameras in place and those cameras were recording during the night, which means he would have heard everything. He would have heard it all. So why didn't he do something in the middle of the night? Oh, because there was no thud, there was no fall, there was nothing. She made her a bed on the floor and went to sleep. Now, why did she do that? I don't know. I'm not in her head, but she did that. And I come and I saw she was resting. I, I, you know, I assumed she was fine. I, you know, she was a little groggy when I tried to get her up for, for her meds and shit. But I said, well, you know, I'll let her sleep for a few more minutes. Minutes, not hours, damn it, minutes. So I went out, I fed the dogs. And I come back, checked on her again. She was still unresponsive. And then that's when I called the ambulance. In the meantime, Larry didn't do jack shit. Even though he had cameras in there, even though he says, I'm so concerned about Alice. Well, he wasn't that day. So, you know, you could keep trying to spin this back onto me all you fucking want. It's not going to help you. It's not. It's just not going to help you. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to help myself. Okay. So my, the rage that I have and the anger that I have is because it's very personal. I know my, when my dad passed, you know, he passed this year too. Okay. I was there with him when he fell on the floor. I was there with him when he had his strokes. I was there with him for all of those things. And it, it is mind boggling to me, the way that you have responded to this situation. And I think that's what everybody else is upset about because when, when my father was on the floor, 
and and he oh he's on the floor why is my elderly father on the floor that's the first question that's the very first problem in the situation and that's where people are holding you accountable because well, see that, like if you i said see an elderly person on the floor pallet or no pallet this is not normal i need to get you into the bed you need yeah. to be in the bed. I don't care what they say. They might right. be a little lucid. You need to get back into the bed. I need to take care of you. I need to see what's going on here. This isn't right. normal. This isn't right. natural. That's the very first sign that something's wrong. And the reason why I'm upset is you saw that. You didn't even assume anything was wrong with it. You proceeded to, like you said, give her her medication and leave her alone. This is why I'm holding you responsible. Me, Miss Parker, personally, uh, just I'm a few minutes. It was no hour. It wasn't even 30 minutes. It was just a few minutes. I went out. I fed the dogs. I come <laughs> back. She was still unresponsive. No, and then that's why I called the ambulance. But uh, you know, the wait, on the hold floor, on. We got somebody else here. Has, like problems, dementia, whatever. Your first priority. She doesn't have um, dementia. That's a lie. The, not the dog. Not she doesn't dog, have dementia. Your, that's a lie. Friends, not your whatever. She doesn't you have dementia. Yourself. That's a lie. Quit spreading lies, please. No, All no, right. no, no, no. Hold it. Hold it. We got a new, somebody no, fun, new. Fun, 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 fun. What I'm saying is, when you see somebody laying on the laying on the floor like that, on a bed that they made they have, themselves, they, they, they themselves whatever. made, you which means they were conscious and lucid. Focus on them first. Okay, stop. Okay, hold on, hold on. You have to be conscious and you have to be lucid enough to make the damn bed on the floor. So obviously she no, was lucid and conscious. Not, no, fine. You cannot be out of your mind and make a bed and, and, pill, and put pillows down and shit. Okay, you can't. Anyway, Pueblo Thule, do you have anything to add? Pueblo Thule, you are up. Go ahead. Pueblo Thule going once. Pueblo Thule going twice. Okay. Evo, unmute your mic. Anyway, it was it wasn't muted. It was it wasn't, wasn't muted. muted. Okay. Yeah, he's not muted. No, he's not muted. Put both through it one more time. You got anything to say? You're in you're in my dock, so you got anything to say? Nope, nope. Yep. Try again. Okay, maybe he's having audio trouble. Okay, fix your audio. Come on back. All right. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, you know, uh, my first thought was not that she had a blood clot to the brain because I, at the time, okay, understand at the time I did not know she had been vaccinated. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that you're a bad person for not. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what you're I'm saying. saying. You're that. saying that I murdered I, my mother. All right. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit just because I got a feeling he's going to go into a, you know what, rage. Get them in trouble. Because I'm filing in Washington, D.C., honey. You don't file in Kentucky. You file in Washington, uh, D.C. Um, they could, they that could, doesn't they make, make any case sense. In regard, they could make a case for neglect. Uh, yeah. could, they they cannot make a case for neglect. You no, the first case that you lost neglect. your children because of neglect. Yeah. So they could sit there. No, I lost my children because, children because they wanted to take them out of my home. We're not just talking about the documents. We're talking about the court records. Yeah. Do you understand your position and how you've argued against it? But the mm -hmm. court documents, you have files upon files of documents saying that that Vaughn is a neglectful father. Well, I'm Do sorry, but buying shit on eBay and Amazon you? is not child neglect. I'm sorry. Body training a puppy is not child neglect. I'm not no, no, trying no, no, to fight no, no, with no. you. Fucking I'm, Christmas wrapping on the floor on Christmas Day Fine, is not stop. child neglect. I mean, you know, stop, I'm Vaughn, sorry, not, but these things are not child neglect. I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying what they're it says not. in the it's court right. documents. Right. And if you continue to gather these types of paperwork, this type of paper trail, yes, it can be used against you. That's what we're trying to mm -hmm. tell you. Well, and you're, yeah, and you're admitting that the Frost have paid the judges in the area. Yeah, Larry Frost admitted it on Secular Opinion. So you're Trails. fucked. That's so just, then you're no, fucked. I'm not fucked. No, I'm not Fine. fucked. Fine. It, as far as a judge or a prosecutor will look at documents, they could easily make a case for negligence. No, they can't. No, they can't. Be, uh, no, they can't. Be, no, they can't. And I'll tell you why they can't. Because I was taking care of my money long before the process ever come down here. Considered, uh, I forget the term for the legal term for it, but it would basically be considered murder through neglect. Yeah. Ni Nicholas, elderly abuse. Yeah. Nicholas, There's... I was taking care of my mother long before the process came down here, dude. Mm. I've been, I've been down here from the beginning. They have not. Who owns the trailer that you're in right now? I do. It's your name is on that trailer. My name isn't on it, but I'm the owner of it. Whose what, name what is on the trailer? Mom's yeah. name is on yeah. it, but I'm the owner. As okay, of so, 2007, no, 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 hold on. Not, no, no, yeah, no, this is you where might Kentucky law, to no, 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 no. This is where Kentucky law comes in. Okay, Kentucky law says 
<laughs> that when my mother gave up her power of attorney, everything came to the blood heir. That's me. Okay, so yes, the property is mine. The houses are mine. The cars are mine. Everything is mine as of 2007. Fine. That's the law. Fine. Okay, you're not, not getting around works. the law. Fine. Nothing is yours unless your name is on the paper. No, right? that's not true. Not that's, according no, to it Kentucky is true, law. That's all the courts look at. The that's court all the courts look at. Well, that may be, but I'm sorry, but the Kentucky law says different. If when my mom relinquished her P.O.I. Tim Maris so put our possible. name on a fucking house and sold it, and the court didn't work two ways. They didn't care. They said, oh, yeah. obviously you're the owner because the name's on the paper. That's all that that's matters. That's all the care about. Well, and that's a lot of horseshit. You could have fought that. No, you could have fought that, I've experienced Nick. this kind of shit. Jay you could have fought that, though, Nick. Trevor, no, Nick they couldn't. To, they, they could Nick could not fight their that. Name for a title, but if your name's not already on the paper, it's going to be real easy to kick you off that fucking land. you got to fucking break that. Nick, Nick went to prison for this type of shit. I think you yes. should listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. I'm going to give him the credit right here. Nick knows what the fuck he's talking about when it comes to property, okay? He has been through the goddamn ringer on both sides. So just that's all I'm saying. You're mm. not you're not what what you think is a legal defense is nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. It's nothing, sweetie. Yeah. What's going to come down to it is whose name is on this property. And right now, I'm really scared. Where are you going to go if you get evicted from that trailer? I cannot be evicted from my property. Y you, Your name isn't on it. Doesn't matter. Y they honey, boss don't fucking own it. Okay, so hypothetically then. Hypothetically the speaking. don't own it. Okay, Vaughn. Fine. Hypothetically speaking, if you get evicted from that trailer, where are you going to go? Do you have a backup plan? No. That is terrifying for me. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Why? You guys don't give a damn whether I live or die. None yes, of them fuckers do. in the outside chat give a damn whether I live or die. Yes, we do. What, hasn't that been the goal from day fucking one? Let's well, destroy his marriage. To... Let's drive Shut his wife fuck. insane. Stop, Let's stop cut off bullshit. all the... Hold that. Your, your Hold it. Party. No, 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 no. Hold it the fuck up. Hold it the fuck up. The plan from day goddamn one. Cut off his finances. Destroy his marriage. Drive his wife insane. Steal his kids and get and put a wedge between him and his mother so his mother can't help him financially. That's been the goddamn goal from day motherfucking one, and you motherfuckers know it. It's been the goal from day fucking one. I've got the goddamn audio tapes to prove it from where they met on Skype to plan this shit out. So don't tell me. I know what the plan has been from day fucking one because I've got the goddamn audio tapes to prove it. OK, they plotted this shit out on Skype in advance. They know exactly what the fuck they were doing. That's why they colluded with CPS. That's why they colluded with with Clay County was to destroy my motherfucking life forever. That was the plan from day goddamn one. And you motherfuckers know it. So quit defending a bunch of goddamn criminals on the Internet, please. Uh, it's uh, it would be considered criminally negligent homicide. Well, the Frosts are guilty of murder uh, after the fact uh, because I am her <laughs> medical power of attorney, and Here they went behind my back. All and that matters. Like um, they may have a payment plan option, yeah. and that's something that you know. might want to look into with the funeral home. Mm -hmm. A lot um, of funeral homes. I'm gonna go offer... make the payments. I got all my all my income has been cut off by the trolls on YouTube. Okay, but that's a, that's another thing. So you need to find another way to make income, and there are ways for you to get jobs. So you can work. There's planes. Well, is that selling making them you... on eBay? Okay, have you eBay. made any money selling those planes on eBay? How many months has it been, folks, since this? Remember, he is right here, claiming. So why can't he provide that as income at court? Right. He keeps saying that the court is demanding that he get a job, and right now he's using the planes as an excuse. What happened, Vaughn? What happened? Well, not yet. I ain't done okay. building them. So you need, but you need, you need money now, right? Yeah. Okay. So we I need, need seven a, grand. You need money now. You also need, need money. Grand. You also need money to pay everything is, else folks. because, like is. you said, you have no income. So right. you need some flow of income, which means right. you need you need to get a job. There are jobs that you can do. You're on the internet all day anyway. There is nobody going to hire a cripple. Absolutely. I, no, I can find jobs for you. I, I can definitely <laughs> prove you wrong there. Yeah, I got a friend who's a fucking Work from home and earn $100,000 a month. Yeah. No, there, there's a lot of yeah, scams. Okay. But no, there's work. You have your high school <laughs> what diploma. What a load of correct? shit. What a load of shit. Do you have a high school diploma? 
I have I have a high school. I have a certificate from college, but that don't okay. mean shit. Do you type Means at least thirty five? Do you type thirty five words a minute? Can't I told you? Can't get the pinkies to work. Can't type. We can we can work around that. There's actually a couple of jobs that outsource for customer service online, and all you have to do they send you a packet of what to say to people. You can mm. answer the phone. No typing necessary. You just walk people through customer service options. Super easy. You can do that. There are several ways we can get you a job working at uh, working right. at home. Right. So good luck with that because I've been I've been. Trying I mean, are to find you willing to put you. the Are you Ms. willing to Parker, put the work? Because it feels like no matter find, what, Miss Parker. This is what damn. Like let you. me talk. I this have been trying like to you. find. I have been trying to find a work from home job for years and years and years You're, and years. And all you all there is is scams. There is no such thing okay, as a, as a pie in the sky work knows, from home. No, there is. Maybe you need to contact somebody no, who isn't. actually has a job from home. I know several people who work from home and make real money with real companies. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah, good luck with that because I it's ain't never found that It's not a good luck shit. thing. Okay, well, then you need to make, maybe you need some help. Maybe you need to admit, hey, I need some help, people. I need help finding a job. I need some help, people. I need help burying my mom right now. They ain't going to hey, do folks, shit. Nobody's going to do shit. Get the Maybe. fucking chip off your shoulder Nobody and stop acting is going like you're to do better shit. than everybody. Nobody is going to help. do shit, Ms. Parker. Nobody's going to help me. Yeah, I had a like goddamn, yeah. uh, Ms. Right. Parker, Ms. Nobody Parker, do shit for you. Don't Ms. Nobody Parker, give a fuck. Ms. Parker, I had a GoFundMe up on my page and you treat people like for shit. years yeah. for years i had a gofundme up nobody gave a penny not one penny you not one fucking like penny Ms. parker you i don't treat everybody like, like shit. shit now quit it you're yeah. you're kind of a rude person von you're kind of a rude yeah, yeah well person. anyway let's see what's not gonna here. that's not gonna have keep the stats that i could okay. but that's that. wonderful let's see what size you say. you'd be rude Sites too if you had witches monkey covers. donated two dollars yes. yes. for your whole life has yeah, been running know, from I'm every so solution evil. available anyway sides here do you have anything to add <clears> yeah dock. yeah von hey just um if you think about it if whatever happens happens um putting larry putting those uh uh cameras in the house actually might be beneficial to you it's very um, it's beneficial hard. to me. Well, it's, it no, throws it's it all hard. back onto him. Is yeah. Is well. Hold on a second. As far as I understand, CCTV does not have audio, but it sure as does have uh, timestamps. So mm -hmm. if you say thirty minutes, and it was let, or it, if, if people are saying, yeah, it was two hours, and you can actually, Larry can pull it up and say, oh, it was thirty minutes. Larry's so not going to say that though, and Larry can doctor the video. It, you know, it'll show it'll show time stamps. You can go into it, Sony Vegas eight and make up videos say and do whatever the fuck you want. Dude. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I don't I don't think he has the technical knowledge to do that. No, he doesn't, but the trolls do. I don't think he's allowed to give that out. <laughs> I, but I, I, you know, cause, the cause metadata it, well, would reveal that it's been tampered. Well, we, with, we've heard you that. say three times. Nobody and down here's back do down to two. Research. Oh my God, this is no, fucking. I'm just wondering. Like, this ain't, you're talking about a murder case. This is, be beneficial this is not goddamn CSI. They ain't talking gonna fucking check the metadata. They ain't gonna dust for prints. They're not gonna do that. You said, "What should I do?" This is not goddamn CSI. That's all work of fiction. Don't do that shit no more. Okay, Von. So then, for your scenario, there's no point in doing anything. Super. Frost control the fucking judges. Okay, so you're just gonna sit there yeah, and let just them gonna keep sit here and die because that's what you want. That's, that's what all you want. That, so that's, that's it. what you want. That's what you okay, told me you want. So why the fuck should I feel sorry for you if that's what you're you not want in life? Sorry for me. Who said you was? The, oh this my, is the I'm time you retreat into the paranormal. What the fuck? I'm literally here trying to help you. No, tell you that you can get a job. Saying it's all my and you fault can make, is what you, you're here doing. Motherfucker, I'm telling you, you need you're to prepare it's all yourself. My fault, man. When are you going to prepare yourself for life? Shit is about to happen. It's going down. Yep. Okay? Yeah, well, shit is in I, the pants. You got to get shit together. Yeah. And now you're just like, oh, fuck it. I'll just fuck it. I'm just going to sit here and die. Like, yeah, that's what, what you all want. That's so why, why people not, fuck. Why not give it to you, right? Dude, okay. You are, you're literally, you're literally the conductor of your own demise. That's no, what I'm not. Are. Yes, you no, are. No, I'm not. I can you are marching. You are marching. Was manipulated by people online who you did are not the like the leader me. of your own black parade, brother. Yeah, That's well, what well. you are. Anyway, Nick, you have anything you have walking yet? yourself into your own Test hell. one, two, three. Tess, go ahead. Okay, hey. Yeah, I was just wondering. I'll introduce myself quickly. Just uh, I'm no troll, nobody special, nobody that hates you, nobody just that uh, just kind of just watches just like uh, I would say any episode of uh, Jerry Springer is half the reason right. why 
uh, I, I like to watch uh, videos such as this. But let me just say this. There's one thing that I don't think anybody's kind of talked about. In a way, I kind of feel sorry for, for Von Helton because with all the things that he's gone through with having his kids taken away, the state saying, you know, what he is when he had taken some tests and all this stuff in this past, if the state and, and everybody else thinks he's so irresponsible, why has he been given the right to take care of exactly. uh, his mother and be the person pres prescribing all that exactly. medication? Exactly. As that that might fall back on the frosts as well in it my does. opinion. If 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 he's so incompetent, why his why did the state or so to me it seems like there's a conflict. The state's saying one thing and the state's I'm saying like another thing at the same time. And it gets it, it, it's confusing and then JL we have to rely on what Von Helton says. Super chat. This is the worst Pern Hub channel ever. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And and that can be tough sometimes. You got some stories out there, you know. And I, I like to I like to hear them because to me they're entertaining. I'm a down to earth guy, and I like to listen to the same things that you you share and you talk about. That's how I found you. Just conspiracy mm -hmm. theory talk, mm -hmm. and you know. And so you have you have your times when you're when you put aside the um, the BS. You've been entertaining, and I've been I've, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed watching you. But I've also enjoyed the uh, the train wreck that I'm sorry <laughs> is is your life, buddy. Um, the only thing I want to say about uh, working from home, buddy, it's not hard. I, I, I all behind me is my work. I'm actually on work right now, uh, and I'm, I'm going to make this quick and bug out. But man, if you want to work from home, there's ways to do it, and I can help you out. I can po point you in the right direction. You understand my my bone of contention, though, that 99.99 percent of that's all scam shit, right? It is. Uh, you just got to know how to weed through it, buddy. Because like I got, I get, I literally my phone blows up every day because i have a decent resume and, and and i'm pretty sure you too you're technically savvy and if mm -hmm. you're technically savvy that's i mean that's mm -hmm. half half what they want somebody can show up and just literally reset passwords if you that's can do fair. that you can at least make 19 dollars an hour yeah. from even the and work in kentucky IT that's company. a huge paycheck bro so mm -hmm. um Man, I'm not joking. You know, I'm happy to help someone when they're wanting to, you know, when they're reaching out. If you're reaching out, dude, I'll reach out your hand and, and shake it too. Um, you but want if to you really want piss contact, the trolls off? Get a job. I work from home for the VEA court system, bro. Mm -hmm. I know how to find some work, and and if you're if you're willing to, sh you know, li I can even at the very least send you some links, but it's you to walk through the door. Um, okay. I just wanted to give some food for thought for everybody else who's kind of watching. I literally am just. A normal guy who just kind of just sits down and just enjoys watching the show. The thing I love about Miss Parker, damn, she'll call anybody out on their stuff. And that's why I love her to pieces. Love you to pieces. So anyway, Vaughn, I just want to say my my condolences. Right. I know you're, you're, you're handling how you choose to handle this. And some of us might not agree with it, but it's how he's choosing to do it. Um, well, I'm sorry, but see, that's what these fucks want. Uh, you Nick. Need to get a job? They, they yes. want me. They want me to get on camera and start sobbing in my beer. Oh, woe is me! That's all oh my God, doing. it's just so fucking evil. Well, there's one thing that Ms. Parker said, and that I, I need to die. Reiterate. And all the, you know, you are. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Ship, I'm not going to do it. You are the captain of your ship, and it sounds like you like sailing through some rough seas. Hey, man, some of us like to play life on difficulty hard. You know, well, there I you go, Nick. You do, buddy. There you go, Nick. Like, Write that down right there and get up, get a hold of me. All right, there's my email right there. I'll, get a hold I'll, of send me. You, I'll send you some links that at least I can find on you know, with even in our own system. If you want to, yeah, okay, so, all right, buddy. You have right. to take control you of take your it easy. Future. God bless you. Bye bye. Yep. At the end of the day, Vaughn, it's it comes down to you. Every you can talk about all the outside people who are <laughs> affecting your life and all the things that are that are bothering you, but it still comes down to you. You are the person who is in control of your life. And it doesn't feel like at any point you've taken responsibility for your own existence. And yet in this statement, oh, I'm just gonna sit here and die proves it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, T Mongrel, you had a question for the panel. Hey, uh, Miss Parker, go ahead and finish your thought, darling. No, it's okay. That was it. He ain't listening. Okay. All right. Um, so I've just kind of been watching. I'm kind of new to this whole thing, too. And um, 
I know I know how mourning is. It's it's rough. I lost a uh, aunt to Parkinson's last year, and I'm still not over it. And I was wondering how saying the pendulum is swinging the other way is indicative of mourning the death of a beloved family member you've you've been taking care of for such a long time. Uh, ma'am, okay, what you are unaware of is that the frost have been manipulating my mother behind my back and behind her own husband's back for years, going all the way back years and years ago, back when I wasn't even an adult yet. Okay, okay. well, how and is today a great day? Okay. You said I'm earlier when you were talking to Midnight about there. how today I'm, was a great day. Okay, I'm go getting ahead. there. I'm getting there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you don't think that these people manipulating my mother like they did is elder abuse? Of course it is. Okay. I think that leaving your mother on the floor after she was found laying on a pallet, oh, which God. she Here later we called go. Von a bed. Hilton is I'm... evil again. Yeah, Von Hilton did it. It's all Von Hilton's fault. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. Get the fuck out. Von, Get the fuck not... out. Like I said, Larry Frost <laughs> installed cameras. There is not only a video, but there is audio. I talked to Larry on those damn cameras. There is audio on those cameras. He did hear every word and everything that happened, and he did nothing. Okay, so I'm sorry. You can keep spinning this back onto me, but it's but Larry is still just as culpable. Sorry. How did you talk to Larry on the cameras? You you literally speak to the camera, and he and spoke did back he, to he spoke back? To yeah, you. absolutely. Fuck yeah. Through the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fun. I think part of the problem is that you have to, and I, you know, I I had this problem too before. It's like you have to take responsibility for the mistakes that you make. It does it. Your mistakes do not make you a horrible human being. Yeah, they do. They do not. Oh, the on no, 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 no. Yeah, they do. Uh, I'm not here to judge you morally. No, you just want to quote not me in judging prison. You morally. No, Vaughn. No. See, what I think, I think Vaughn is, I think you've allowed trolls to come into your life because you want to see how perfect you can be, but that's a false paradigm. You don't have to be perfect. Not every mistake you make is some life-altering uh, uh, disaster that's going to ruin your life forever. You don't have to be perfect. You can have them. You can make a mistake. You can admit fault. It does not mean you're going to be punished. Because if yeah, you well, think that you guys just have said all morning that I'm going to be punished, that, that it's all my that fault, and that I'm going to jail, and then I'm going to fucking die, and all this shit. If you're saying I, that the frost can go to jail, then there's a chance you can go to jail. All right. Anyway, we got somebody else. Toss plane crash glue repeat. What? What did you want? I fine. Just want to say sorry for your loss. Thank you. So. Don't you have any family in Ohio which uh, will help you? Help you? Uh, I haven't talked to a family in Ohio in centuries, literally. I haven't talked to them in centuries. As far as I know, they don't even, they may not even know where the fuck I'm at. Uh, the Gentries, I haven't talked to them in years. Uh, there, I don't even know if there's any living Heltons left in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Now, understand, all the Heltons down here are not related to me at all. They got my daddy's last name. But in, I'm not related to any of the Heltons down here. And it's probably a good thing because many of the Heltons down here have criminal records. So it's probably a good a thing that I'm not. I'm sorry. I, I thought you had a plan to send the kids to the Gentries. I did if I could get a hold of them. But I oh. haven't been able to get a hold of them. Okay. I, like I said, I you know, there I haven't talked to anybody in Ohio in a long, long time. I just haven't. They just, you know. They're, they don't care, I guess. No, no. Nobody's so, so ever, you, nobody's ever made, tried to reach out to me. No one. Have you made any uh, money yet with your playing business? No, not yet. Hmm. I, I stand I stand to possibly make. I've got some stuff that I can sell on eBay if worse comes to worse. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, nothing yet. Nothing solid yet. It's just, of course, you know, this This is just recent. It just happened Sunday, okay? And this is just now Monday. So, and it's still Monday morning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's just barely been 24 hours. Well, it's been a little over 24 hours, excuse me. But, uh, but uh, you know, we'll see how things pan out. We'll see what's going to happen, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll see what's happening. Any, anything else? Well, I just um, well, I didn't really uh, follow all of this. So, um, when did your mother pass? Sunday morning at two thirty in the morning. The gods woke me up at two o'clock in the morning. Said, "Get up. There's something important." So I got up and I waited, and that's when I got the phone call about roughly 
Two fifteen, two thirty, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's terrible. Is that your dog, Parker, or mine? It's Aries. Yeah. Oh, that was your dog. Okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, about about two fifteen, two thirty, somewhere around there. They called, and uh, you know, but the gods woke me up. They woke me up at two o'clock in the morning and said, "Get up." It's something important. And uh, so I got up and I thought it might have been something important on the Internet. So I started looking on the Internet. Mm. And of course, it wasn't. It was, uh, you know, them calling from the hospital. So, uh, you know, but like I said, the gods have this under control. They do. They have everything under control. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what's happening. And, and so, it's all going to come to fruition. Whatever. So, whatever do the gods want you to, so do the gods want you to die? I don't know yet. We'll see. Because it seems like if, if the gods have everything under control, then the gods have allowed all of this to happen to you. Let me give you a scenario, Ms. Parker. Let me give you a scenario, okay? Let's say I do die. Let's say I die. Let's say I die tomorrow. I'm dead, okay? But whatever means, it doesn't matter. Gunshot to the head, starvation, whatever. Let's say I'm dead tomorrow, okay? What could happen then is the FBI might actually get off their fucking lazy ass and actually come down here and really investigate. It, it could happen. They could actually investigate because, hey, I've been, this man called us on the Internet and talked to us on the phone and on the Internet. He left us all these messages. And maybe if I die, maybe the FBI come down and investigate, find out something really has gone wrong and actually punish these people and throw them all in prison where they belong. My death might actually turn out to be a positive for the rest of the people on this planet. You understand? Von, Von, you understand? I need uh, listen, I need to ask you a serious question. What? And I, I really want you to give me a serious answer. Yeah. Okay. Are you thinking about harming yourself? No, fuck no. I'm not suicidal, dumbass. That's okay. a cop out. I'm that's just saying it started out. sounding like that's what no, we that's were that's where we were going there. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a cheater's way out. Suicide okay. is never a solution. Ozzy Osbourne even had a song about it for fuck's sake. That I'm just saying solution. that's what hey, that's what you were laying down no, pretty heavy, bro. No, that is what you are laying down. Oh, Vaughn, you know, you got nothing's gonna happen. Nobody, you know, everything's everything's your fault. Everything's, you know, it's all evil. It's you know, the, the world's coming to an end, and it's all Vaughn Helton's fault. You know, no, what I asked you was is if the gods have everything under control, did I don't the gods allow all of this to happen to you? I don't know their plan. I don't know their plan. I wish I did. I wish I could say I did. I don't know their plan. Woody, is this a Woody that I know, or is this another Woody? Good morning, Vaughn. Uh, good morning, Woody. What's on your mind? I just want to say that Mrs. Parker looks wonderful today, and well, it's an honor sure. to meet you. I'm a big fan of you, and it's absolute bullshit that a man can't watch your program and look at the funny comments from your fans without some jackass making some comment. So yeah, well, I just want you to know it's ridiculous, and you keep doing you, okay? Yes, we're gonna I, have I don't know, I don't care, but you just keep being you. You got great content. Great content. Well, thank you, Woody. I appreciate that. And and Vaughn, she was dead on. I'm only reason why I got on here is because you scared the hell out of me a second ago with yeah. your comments. Oh, God. you it couldn't really tell I was dark. being facetious, really? It, it was really dark. You couldn't Vaughn, tell I was being facetious. Going on right really? now, that's not something to be facetious yeah. about. Oh, for fuck's sake! How many times? How many videos? Hundreds of videos. I will never commit suicide. I am not suicidal. I am. I, I think I'm suicide just telling is a cop you what out. I've like. said it so many damn times that there's no fucking way you can watch me and say, you know, there's no way. I mean, I've said it too many times. I've Nobody, said it hundreds and hundreds of times. Nobody self harms until they do. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I plenty, guess plenty of people say that they're and not you can't hurt get mad at me for really caring. Hurt I guess I guess. absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm here like, for you. The Parker. fact that you're fucking pissed off at me oh, because I gave a shit about your your fucking life Ms. is kind of shitty. Another reason Ms. why you're Parker. an asshole, Miss Parker. Bond. Let's not delude ourselves. You do not know me. You've never been to my home. You, you haven't die. got a fucking clue you're, about who I am, what I'm about, or anything. You are uh, such an asshole. Yes, thank, uh, you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, you've put up so much stuff about yourself in the past just a couple of years alone that Miss Parker knows you pretty damn fucking well, probably no, better than Frost. I learned I Nick Bravo in like four weeks. Okay, this is what I do. I get yeah. to know people with the information. She's a fucking psychologist. Come on, I mean, like, stop. Like, Wait, and you I'm not psychology here. in school? I'm not here trying to hurt you. I'm not here fucking dragging you through the dirt. I could be calling you, you are all dragging. sorts of... You just no. got through saying it's all no, my goddamn fault. What do you mean no, you ain't dragging me through do. the dirt? 
Are you fucking kidding me? Vaughn, you, you must take responsibility. Really? It's you all your fault. You got to take responsibility, Von Helm. You must have forgotten who admit I was. You did wrong, Von You Helm. must have forgot who the fuck I was. I could be dragging you right now, and I'm not. I'm sitting here trying to have a conversation with you, and when you started saying some real dark shit, I actually was concerned. You know why? Because I'm a fucking human. Well, okay. I'm giving you decency. And every time I show you I decency, know. you show me your fucking asshole. And I'm well, real sick of seeing it to be completely honest. You're a piece of shit, bro. Thank you. I, I think you get off on being hated. By yeah, he does. No, I do not get off. Yeah, so, I, okay. All right, right hold on. Let's you back the train shit. up. Wait a minute. Let's back the train up to 2005. Shit. Let's back the train up to 2005. When I first come on YouTube. All right. I come on YouTube. My very first video is what? Hello, world. You know, that was it. That was my first video. Hello, world. Okay. 2005. When I come on YouTube, my first video. Hello, world. Okay. It wasn't nothing about conspiracies. It wasn't nothing about the trolls. It wasn't nothing about, oh, woe is me. No. My first video I made on YouTube was hello, world. That was my first video on you. And, and it wasn't. It wasn't anything that it, were dark uh, or evil uh, or any of that shit. No, 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 no. My uh, first video was "Hello World." I was oh I was on YouTube too in, in 2005, and the problem is, we both let the trolls get to us. That's the yeah. problem. Well, yeah, there were. Yeah, we they did. Were, I admit take that. responsibility oh, for it. If but Nick, here, but here's the problem. If when Nick I left can take the internet, then you can too, Miss Parker. Hold on. When I left the internet for two years, did the shit stop? No, fuck no, it didn't stop. It got worse because then they started calling police out to my house. So no, it didn't fucking stop. It got worse. Now, had it stopped when fault. I got off the internet, hold on, had it stopped when I got off the internet, you would have, you'd have a pretty good argument. But it didn't stop when I got off the internet. It's I was off the fault, internet man. for two years, Miss Parker. Two I years. It. I get it, okay. Ron. The whole world is against you. Everybody's against you. Everybody. No, no it's Everybody. only about 50, you don't have, people. It's, yeah, but they've ruined everything in your life. Yeah, they you have. can't trust the and police. To, by the their own admission, they have. You. They yeah, cut off my disability and SSI. They cut taken. off Jerry's money. Yeah. Oh, Vaughn, you, you can't have Jerry's money. They're about to take your house. It ain't your money, Vaughn. The trolls are about to take your house. videos are out there. Go watch them. It's over. Yeah, the videos are literally out there, trolls talking about taking your house. They're going to take your fucking house. Yeah. You're going to be homeless in yeah. the middle of the Appalachian I'm Mountains be in fucking Kentucky, living be in a goddamn hut I'm because of the be trolls. Homeless. And then who are you going to blame? You're not going to have Wi Fi to stream. You're going to be, be streaming homeless. in front of a tree like fucking G Man. I'm not going to be, a... be pissed off at. Well, huh? I'm not G Man, but anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be homeless, honey. Okay. I'm the blood heir of this Where estate. are you going to go? Where'd I am go? the blood heir of this estate. But the trolls got everything on you. You've already said it. The trolls I am the are blood heir it. of this estate. They're not you taking my property. It, no, they're not. You already said the trolls are working with the frost, and they, they have, are. They and, have and, with C and with Clay County CPS. And with, exactly. Yes, they so are. they're going to take your fucking house. Bro. No, they're what not taking my do? fucking house. There's nothing. Okay, you can I'm do the blood heir of the estate. That was my mother back there. There's nothing you can do to stop them. Apparently, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. What? What are you going to do? Kentucky law. Kentucky law will stop. But they are. But they're already in the pocket of the frost. The frost already got them. So what are you going to do? Not all of the law. I mean, all, there's still all the that matters is whose name is on that paper. The title to the house, the title to the land. Well, as I stated, yeah. though, all of the legal documents were stolen out of my mother's house, which means any legal documents they possess are all forgeries. Well, unless you can prove that, they're not yeah. going to care. It's not and a matter of proving. It's, it's yes, it is. You don't have a lawyer. You have nobody to help you fight you your case. You don't have money for anything. Nothing. You got to have money. Wrong. Exactly. That, what that I tried means, to so tell you, you before, you got to have money. Exactly. I tried so to tell what you that. Gonna do? You're fucked. You're yeah, about to lose much. everything. Yeah. Everything. What yeah. are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know, Miss Parker. I, I, Vaughn, Vaughn, I, I said, don't know. Job is on my what is your contingency? What is your What's contingency plan? Worst case scenario, what's going to happen? What? What can you do to rectify the situation? There's nothing I can do to rectify the situation. You have to have money. Lots of it. Okay, you have to have you anywhere from okay. Let me, let me okay. Hold on. You have to have anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars for a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I got seven thousand dollars I owe to put to bury my mother. I've got you know all this all this money that I that I have to have in order to do shit, and I ain't got the money. They cut off my disability. They cut off my SSI. They cut off Jerry's money. They cut off mom's money. I literally have no fucking money, and without money, you can't do anything in this world. You can't. Sorry, but you can't. That's the way things are. That's life, man. You got to have money to do shit in this world. 
That's just the facts. Let's say I get a job tomorrow. I get a job tomorrow. What is that job going to do? They hold your check for at least two weeks. Every it's job hopeless. does that. Yeah, every job does that. Hopeless. You're fucked. You're not every job does money. that, folks. You're every never... job holds your check for at least There's two weeks. That's the law. Do. There's nothing you could do. You're fucked. Correct. Well, There's absolutely nothing you Correct. could do. Correct, which means the gods must intervene or I'm no, done. You're your gods yep. do not love you. Yeah, the gods, gods are going to... do not love me. Okay. Your gods are a bunch of fucking retards. They haven't intervened yet asses. at all. They haven't intervened in anything. They didn't intervene when your kids got taken. They didn't intervene yeah. when your do- when your puppies died. They didn't Curse intervene when your dad. dad's fucking money got stolen. They didn't intervene when the guns got taken. They yeah. didn't intervene ever. And you think they're going to intervene now? Like, good the- dude, you're fucked. How do mm-hmm. you know? How do you know? How do you know? That's the question. How do you know the gods are going to come? How do you know they've listened to you at all? He's delusional. That's why. He no, I'm he's... not fucking delusional. Quit it, Nick. No. Quit it. Gods are retards. I, mean, I, I would, I would, I would point out that your little statue of Baphomet might claim they have no names. They have no names. They never make an appearance in your life. They never let do me, anything. Let me add. Uh, They're uh, a bunch you, of fucking dude, retards. You have a statue of Baphomet, motherfucker. They're probably yeah. astral parasites sucking off you right now. And what is Satan? Okay. He's a parasite too. No, 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 so no, no. Quit it. Never read the book. Quit uh, it. There's a, there's a book by Colin Wilson, and it's about how these energy parasites they get pe- they feed off people's negative emotions. Well, that's true. That is. And true. all that all I they ever do, that. all these entities ever do, is they get people worked up. Emotionally, right. to right. feel either sadness, grief, hatred, rage, mm-hmm. pain, mm-hmm. and they feed off that pain. So yeah, I'm calling your gods a bunch of astral fucking parasites mm. feeding off your fucking negative energy, which is one reason why you need to get yourself under fucking emotional control, find a way to make money, call that one dude up, answer that email, start doing my making money online, take Miss Parker's advice, take my advice, and take your shit together because you're not... You and in the meantime, they still God. get the property, and I still don't get my kids back, and I still God, don't get any You get your life, Vaughn. You have a life. I don't you have need shit. To li- you, because don't you don't want to get it. Because you don't want to get it. No, no. Because you don't want to get it. You want to leave see, everything okay. up to your nameless, faceless, no, hold on, hold unknowing on, gods. Miss Parker, you have made a lot of assumptions. <laughs> You I've think no that I've sat on? I, I guess you think I've sat on my ass for the last I've only twenty years what you've and said. done nothing. The yeah. fact is, is that I have been trying to find work. I have been trying to find work at home. Even I have tried to get lawyers. I've tried to get any kind of help. I've contacted every fucking legal agency in the world. I've contacted every police agency in the fucking and world. None of them. Nobody help wants to help, exactly. Miss Parker. Exactly. Nobody. So you need to do it for your fucking self. And just how am I going to do that with no money? Get, what do you mean? No, you need to figure out a way to make money. You're a grown make money? man. Okay. You understand you have to have money to make money. You understand that. You're right? a grown man. I do you understand that I used to be homeless with a child in a park, sleeping on a park bench with no way to make money, no fucking idea of what I was gonna do the next day to feed him. And I figured that shit out because I'm grown. You're and grown, you are. Ron. Yeah, and here, here I are. am. I pulled Okay, I so you it. made it. So you do it. So why are you saying so I you won't do the make work? It. Do the because you don't even want to do the work. You don't even want to do the work. We like keep I offering said, you ideas, and I, you're like, oh, I must no, have I can't been sitting that. on my ass, twiddling my thumbs can't for the last 20 years. I haven't been trying to get a job. I haven't been trying to get any kind of help. Bond I've just been sitting on my ass for 20 mind. years, twiddling my thumbs, right? What a load of horse shit. Bond I'm going to get a Mountain Dew. I'm thirsty. Fun thinks he's going to get Mountain points for being a victim. So, Nick, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I heard that you've been doing some things and whatnot. What's been going on in your life? Tell me what, since we've talked, have you, have you, uh, you got a job? I saw you were working out. Are I, you still doing that? I did. Um, well, I'm just, uh, I, I did backslide a little bit, um, but I got to get, um, like, uh, I, I just, I need to find a better job and I need to work on uh, some of my own stuff. Cause it, the, the trying to work for wages, nobody gets rich that way. So I'm going to have to like, definitely, work on the other stuff that I got to do and then uh, that kind of a thing. So Makes sense. Well, you need, go ahead. I was just going to say positive yardage. Keep your head down. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Good luck. I like the fact that you're trying. That's one. <laughs> and that's one thing I have said repeatedly to people like I, you know, I follow everybody. <clears throat> so like when I'm commenting on people, I have used you as a fucking cornerstone. Like if Nick Bravo can do it, you fuckers can do it too. And I appreciate the fact that you admit and yeah. you take accountability for not only the fuck shit that happened with the real estate stuff, yeah. but also 
you getting trolled online. Like you, you have to admit the fact that when you start making these videos and you're screaming at people at the mm -hmm. top of your fucking lungs, of yeah. course they're going to react. Oh so, yeah. I mean, I, I can't, I, I look at videos even that I made five years ago and it's just like, it's, it's just, it's cringe. I it's, hope, yeah. I, I hope you are embarrassed by that stuff. Cause it is, it sucks. Yeah. Like it's, and, and the internet's never going to forget it. You can never live it down. And it's like, and I just have to not care. Yeah. You know? So I'm, I'm really proud of you. I am. Okay. I'm super proud of you. Um, all right. Mm. So you got your due. I see you switched up the shirt. Got a little chilly. Yeah, I'd put something with a little thickness on because it's a little nippy. 20 degrees outside, so it's pretty yeah. damn cold. So. Well, I mean, I honestly, like, I just, I don't know what else I can possibly say to, uh, to Yvonne, definitely my condolences are with you because it's always hard to lose a parent. I, I don't know how your grieving process is going to work for you. Um, but I do think you're going to have to be honest and look at the situation for what it is and really buckle down and be an adult. You don't have anyone to hold you up this time. Mom, mom is gone and that sucks. <clears throat> it does, but there's no one there to catch you. There's no safety net. It's you by yourself. And, mm -hmm. and that's what a lot of the trolls are laughing at right now, because you have a pattern of behavior where when you fall or falter or something happens, you can always run home Ms. to mama. Parker, let me ask you a serious question. Here. Let me ask yeah. you a serious question, Ms. Parker, a serious yeah. question. You ready for this? All right. Mm -hmm. What if, what if you found out that the trolls were the ones who told Larry to go give mom the jab, which got her killed? What would you say then? I would say that you're full of shit, Vaughn, and that you're pulling No, no, no. I'm saying... I would agree that he is full of shit. Let's skip ahead, folks. And other people know J-Dub's story better than I do. But mm. the, f the fact of it is, is he's a pedophile and he's a bad influence on you, Vaughn. Okay, mm. well, now, wait a minute. Where's his, okay, okay well, where's the criminal record at so I can take a look at it? I want to see his criminal record. I'm take sure a look it's like at your it. opinion and other people who follow this wanna, more than I, I do. take a look at it. Probably I sure you. Nick, I can find out what you about the Andrew thing, fact. and he said it was dark. If you actually treat Vaughn, if you actually treated secular opinion and other people with respect, uh, you know, treat them better than, well, treat them about as the same as you're treating Ms. Parker. Ms. Parker's been very patient with you, Vaughn. Extremely patient. I concur. With you. Um, I concur. But, you know, I, I'm a guy, secular opinion is a guy. Well, if you if you talk shit to us, we're gonna throw it right back at you. That's accept. That's understood. And I didn't that's start that's this fucking that's shit that's though, Nick. Now did I? G Dubs is a no, bad influence on you. G Dubs is a horrible influence on you. J Dubs is a bad up. influence. No, no. On I've you. seen the videos. He gets you worked up. He watches you spin, and then he fucking talks. He, he, he tries to get you to have weird ideas about all kinds of weird shit because he's a weird fuck. He's a weird Actually, he doesn't like fuck. any of my conspiracy stuff at all. I'm not talking conspiracy. Uh, I'm sure the I'm sure the uh, the internet archivists, such as uh, Secular Opinion and others, uh, you know, because I'm really the only ones I follow on, on a semi-regular basis are Ms. Parker and Secular Opinion. But from what I've seen of videos that they've shown of you and J-Dubs, J-Dubs is basically playing you like a fiddle. And he's a bad influence on you. And I'd be more okay, well, you about, need to I'd be more worried about J Dubs than the Frost. You need um, to I'm cite an not. example of who why was that is. J -Dubs, who was J Dubs under before he met you, Hot Sauce? He was uh, he was hanging out with, with Brett King. With uh, Brett King. Is yeah, that a good he, look? He's 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 is got, that a good um, look? I don't know. I don't no, know. No, it's not. It's not yeah, especially, it's especially not. after okay, what Brett King did. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good look. Well, wait a minute. What did Brett King do? Okay. Brett King beats his wife. Yeah. Brett King beats his wife. Brett King, Brett King just yeah. beat his wife like what four months ago? Whoa, what? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's charges for it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, see, I this is new information. I didn't know. I you don't I know a lot about that's the thing. Like you hang Dude, out with I haven't talked online. No, 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 wait a minute. Hold they on. They don't I even haven't... talk though. They don't even talk, Miss Parker. Trust uh, yeah, me. They, I they, haven't they, talked to Brett in years. Like a while. No, I, I yeah. understand you don't talk to Brett anymore. What I'm saying is you years. hang out with people like J Dubs. You hang out with people like Rick because nobody else wants to fuck with you because you're an asshole, and then you attract other assholes who are actually worse than you. It's yeah. insane. Hey, I, worse I, than I, you. I, I'm one of the exceptions because I happen to like Vaughn, but I'm not a prick. So 
I'm one of the exceptions. <laughs> you literally have two people that are lulz cows. They are certified lulz cows telling you that you need to get your shit together. Do you not see the implications here? They got their shit together. They're working on themselves. They're doing better. Why can't you? You have nothing but excuses. Yeah, that's it, man. It's just nothing but excuses. You're right. Nothing but excuses. You're right. I don't really think of anything. Prove me time. wrong. Prove me wrong. Don't have to. You've already proved it to yourself. I don't have to prove anything. You've already proved it to yourself. Damon. There's yeah. nothing I can say or do that's going to change your There's mind. There's so nothing. many things you can do. There, there is nothing I can do, do that will change your mind. Yes, there is. Right now, there is Secular something opinion do. and you his can. goons you want me to tell you what did you a live do? show where they specifically said, yeah, we got to get CPS to take Jerry's money away from him so that he won't have an income. It was on their damn live show. And Jerry's any money moron can yours. go over to Secular Opinions channel on YouTube Jerry's and watch the damn yours. video. I don't recall that. His money but what are you yours. doing? Are you going after Secular? No. You're, Jerry's you're money isn't yours. We've covered this, Vaughn. That's not your money. That's oh not my your money. God. Am I my son's father? Yes or no? He's not in your house. Is he my son? He's yes not in no? your house. It's a simple question. Is he my son? Yes Does it no? matter? Yes, That's it does. Until he turns 18. Yes, it does. That's a non sequitur. No, it is not a non sequitur. Until Absolutely. he turns 18, I am responsible for his finances He's and his well being. Yes, I house. am. That's the, the law. Dummy. The custodial parent is responsible. No, You're not the custodial no. parent. Miss Parker. You're not. Do you Ms. know what Parker? a custodial parent is? Miss Parker. Legally speaking, Ms. Vaughn, Parker. I'm so serious. Please, I'm Ms. not trying Parker? to fight with you. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not Listen trying to, to fight with you either. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Because no one, Vaughn, no one, no one Vaughn, tried I'm to take the money a serious away. Question. No, no one shut Vaughn. off Jerry's money until the goddamn trolls told him to do it. No do one. Do you know what a custodial parent is? Do you know what a father is? Do you know, legally speaking, what a custodial, a custodial parent, parent is? parent is a temporary situation. No. Keep her being temporary. I'm his father for life. There is That's no not, changing that. That's not. Unless, of course, you're going to remove all the blood out of his body and replace him with someone else's blood. Then you might have a case. Otherwise, I am his father for life. You're showing your ass. No, you're showing your stupidity. You got it. You got this twisted. You're thinking of, uh, some kind of temporary situation is going to replace his permanent parent. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. I will you're not understand the, the law. I will always be his father. There is nothing nobody ever said you're not going to be his dad. Nothing is ever going to change always, that. Nobody ever. said you're not going to be his dad. You, you're always going to be his dad, but you're not his custodial parent. And the custodial parents are the ones who are responsible for the finances and well-being of the children. Ever, ever, I have never, ever, in the years that this has went on, I have never, ever had Jerry's money turned off until the trolls told and CPS to do it. And that was illegal, Vaughn. We until the trolls also. told CPS to do it. That, because it was illegal. You no, are not honey, to collect no, no, on a child trolls, that's not in no, your house. No, because the trolls it's wanted them federal, to do it, and they no. did it. Honey, it's a there is nothing situation. illegal about me handling my son's finances. It, no, it, there it is, is fucking the, not. Yes. He's not 18 yet. It's now, if he was illegal. 18 and a legal adult, and the I was money comes from finances, the government, then it would be a totally different animal. The then. money comes from the government. I don't give a damn where the money comes from, but I'm the government father, does, and I'm responsible the government for him. Does. They're until not going to give 18. you money for a child that's not in your house. Oh, my that's God. What, he probably okay. Has, so you are okay. So wait a minute. So Mark, Ms. Parker, Ms. Parker has now outed herself as a flaming communist. You heard it here first, folks. Wow. Live, live on TV or on video. Wow. Excuse me. Well, you heard it here first. She has now oh. outed herself as a flaming communist. She says that the government has a right to steal my boy's money and keep it for themselves and spend it on themselves instead of me, his father. Being in control of his wow. finances. There you go, folks. You have no, now heard it live money on, on this video. No, no. They're wow. spending Jerry's money on Jerry because Jerry is no, the child not. that they're taking care no, of. What are they spending on? What are they spending the on? The bills. They're probably food. spending it on food and clothing. What bills? Clothing. clothing. No. Yeah. No. What to help bills? cover bills. So they don't oh, they, buy, they buy him a couple, a couple shirts every night? Okay, great. Well, what about the rest of the money? He gets over $750 a month. 
What in the hell are they spending all that money on? What are they spending it on? Go ahead. What are they spending it on? What did you I'm, spend I'm, it on? I'm all open, man. What did I'm you spend open. it on? What did, what did you I spend, spend it on? I spent it on the bills. I spent it on the utilities. I spent it on cable. I spent it on shit that he uses, by the way, because mm-hmm. he uses uh, the you cable. Spent, you, that's what you spent it on? How many shirts did him. he get every yeah. year? How many pairs? Um, how many shirts? How many pairs of shoes did yeah. you buy? He has, he, he Do you have the receipts? All the time. He got, I've got the video. Oh my God. Do you I have the receipt? Hold on. I'll play the video. I don't Do know. you have the receipt? I don't need a receipt. I'll play the video. Oh no. The courts are going to want receipts. Do you well, have receipts? I, I, well, I can get the receipts later, but we're going to watch the video now because now you done fucked up. All right, I want to see it. I done you fucked done fucked up, up, up and stepped in it, sweetheart. We're going to watch the video now. Show the video, Vaughn. Show it. We're going to watch the fucking video. You stepped in it now, Miss Parker. Let me eat stepped in it now. Oh, face. Show me. You have stepped in it now, sweetheart. We're gonna watch the video. Sure, Vaughn. We're ready. gonna watch the video. Come on. Because right you in. you stepped in it now, sweetheart. I did piece. the whole foot. Stepped my whole foot in a pile of shit. <laughs> Vaughn, uh, how much how much of Jerry's money did you spend on lottery tickets? I didn't spend a dime of my of Jerry's money. I spent my daddy's money. I spent my daddy's money. How how do you have money for foam airplanes? You didn't just, spend a dime. Jerry. Jerry ain't been around for two years. Where the fuck you been, Nick? I, I'm just I'm just. Well, trying, no, he was I, asking I, just, I just in general. Where'd you get out, the money for the plane? Trying to figure That's out your goddamn like, business. Because you one. don't have money. You told us you have no number, income. Well, Where'd you get the money yeah, for the plane? Yeah, right. I don't have money now. No. I'm the expensive hobby. Foam paper airplanes. Uh, no, you can buy a whole box of foam for twenty bucks. Where are you getting this expensive up? But you don't have money for the electronics. Gas. Is is on the expensive side. I you don't have that, money but... for gas for your appointments. But no, you got money not. for fa- but you got money for planes. No, you being irresponsible, brother. No, I'm not. That, yeah, if you ain't no, got no. money for gas to get back and forth to appointments, but you got well, money to scrolling. But this you got money a for a plane. Way. That's irresponsible. I need a faster way. The scrolling. It's just crazy. <sighs> Let's see here. I, I, I honestly thought this conversation was going to be a hell of a lot more productive. I you did. did. Yeah. So sitting there blaming Von Helden for every fucking thing that happens. No, no, I, I mean, that's what it is. Let's doggone Von Helden. Yeah, there you go. You okay, like well, this. Your great. dick is hard. You're lucky. I like this. Red well, one. Yeah. My dick gets You're hard when I see you naked, sweetheart. Then my dick gets hard. You love he is loving it. Let's skip ahead a little bit, folks. But I ain't seen you naked, so I guess I was. You so fucking bad. love this shit. You yeah, like yeah, it. I, I, you know, if I've seen you I'm naked. I'm yeah, like, yes. not You ain't gonna show it. We'll give him a chance. Here's the video. That's why he keeps play me around. Little video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are t- way too, way too. Uh, bra- uh, what's the? Um, bra- it's bra- it's bra- the only attention no, he gets. So yeah, he loves the only attention I get. Yeah, I'm It's just, it's, it's, it's horrible. Folks, I'm out here at the truck because, as I've told you many, many times, I have legions of haters. And those haters get on YouTube and other places, Daily Motion, Live Leak, etc. And they love to spread hate about yours truly, and especially when it comes to my kids. Now, they can't seem to answer why they were hating on me before I got my kids. They can't seem to answer that one. But boy, they're sure quick to jump on me. Oh, you don't do nothing for your kids. You don't do nothing for your kids. So I took them to Pizza Hut yesterday. And today, I got them blankets. I got them clothes. I got them brand new pillows. I got them uh, comforters. I got all kinds of cool shit. And I did that because their birthday is this month. And so I went on ahead and and got them got him a whole bunch of stuff. I got Jerry a, an Incredible Hulk thing here. I got Jerry an Incredible Hulk thing. I got Disney's Frozen Comforter. I got the Shopkins Comforter. I got all kinds of beds, pillowcases and shit, shoes, socks, underwear. I got all kinds of stuff. What is that, Jerry? What is that? What's the name of it? What's the name of that? Shouldn't have him What's on the camera. Shopping yeah. food. Who's that, Jerry? Who's that? On the spot, and you're being too exactly. nice. That's what we you gotta like. destroy him. We gotta like destroy his life. We gotta kill him. You're gonna him, play this shit back and beat your dick. That's what this is about. He ain't dead. You enjoy it. Kill his ass. You like a black woman yelling at you. That's what it is. You like it. 
<laughs> you get a kick out of this shit. I have right, fun. my girlfriend. Yeah, the, the record, I, 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 I think Fawn needs Fawn needs to find himself some some black woman up there in Kentucky about his age, and he they wouldn't to, have it. He needs. To, he yeah, they wouldn't have it. There you no, go. They wouldn't have he it. needs to be nope. trained. Yeah, she needs to wrap, put a put she a collar and a leash on him, and just you know, he he can be well, her. Gets a, a phone bit. call. Let's, so, yeah, yeah, he's gone it's, for a while. He's yeah, gone for it. a bit. I don't know. Like with action, we should we should be like I said. They've done they've done my policy this way. Something funny. I heard your your mother passed, so I yeah. I can't figure out what's going on. Yep. <laughs> Once she needed to pick his cotton. Yep, she did. Right, yeah, she's gone. Really gone. It's not a rumor. She's it's really not, gone. Okay. So wow. Yeah, it is okay. not a rumor. She is really gone. All right. Yeah. I just came to you know sort of uh, express my condolences. I heard a lot was was discussed, and so obviously a lot of people are curious as to sort of you know Ooh. what's your your next step. Uh, obviously after grieving. Well, well, I like I said, um, I I am sworn to secrecy. I cannot discuss the conversation I just had over the phone because oh, yeah. uh, I was sworn to secrecy and I keep my word. Uh, but what I will say is that um, is that it was an interesting phone call. I'll say that it was an interesting phone call. And um, that uh, at this point, I do not know what to do next. I'll be honest with you. Obviously, um, something like this is new to me and I have never been through this before, not in this manner at least. You know, usually uh, when something like this happens, I'm on the sidelines looking in from the side. But this time, it's directly on me, and so I have to deal with it. And so I'll do whatever I can uh, as best that I can. Yeah. Right, so, right. So, I mean, I, 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 you don't have to disclose anything, obviously, you don't want to. Uh, I, I was just, I knew that you were gone, but I didn't know that was the whole phone call. So, I mean, I, I, outside that, so what sort of, like, I guess, funeral arrangements uh are you gonna have the to... funeral homes the funeral home and cemetery says i need to come up with seven thousand dollars oh wow come up with it i have to come up with the money nobody else i'm responsible right. i have to come up with the money and so Wait, i'm so... gonna have to figure out how to get that money did your mother to figure out how to do it a funeral plan she had a funeral you know, plan, it... and at the end there's still a remaining balance or something yeah they say there's a remaining me. balance yeah so... Yeah, oh, probably taxes and insurance and, you know, So if inflation. people wanted to, because they're even, and I've told you this before, even though there's people who do not like you, they still love and respect Ma Helton. So is there a way that we, if you could provide us with the funeral home information, give them the money directly? Because I'm sure there are people who the are money, watching they, but they, that would no, love to help. I know, but they, you can't give Okay, and I, I, I understand what you're saying, but you can't give the money to the funeral home. The funeral home has to come to me, and then I have to pay it. That's how it works. In fact, I have to fill out so paperwork. So no one can just, like, kind of call on your behalf for the account no, and put no. money on that account and close no. it out? I'm sure they'll take your money. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm sure if you send them a check, they'll take your money. But it ain't going to go to my mom. It has to go through me. Mm -hmm. I am in charge so... of her affairs, so it has to go through me. Mm -hmm. You can't so do here's it. an idea... What you happens if you don't pay them? Huh? What happens if you just don't pay them? Like I have no idea. I don't know. Or like I said, I've never been through this before. I have no idea. I may have to find other arrangements. I may have to find another way to uh, to get her up there. I don't know. I have no idea. I how honestly do not. I've never Mom, been through this before. How did she get into arrears with the burial plan? Well, she wasn't. She wasn't. But see, the thing about it, everything, everything with my mom's funeral was paid off. Okay, it was all paid off. But the thing of it is, is that, you know, they're saying that I still owe for the open and close, that I still owe for uh, uh, interest, and you know, because everything, you know, it's been so it's been so long since it's been paid for that everything has skyrocketed in price since then, and I have to pay Maybe. the difference. Well, the purpose Maybe of buying the free pay here. one is to eliminate that. It's, the yeah, interest well, rate. that's what I would thought. That's what I would think too. But that's not. I mean, they done me the same way. They did my dad the same way. Now they're doing mom the same way. So this is not surprising to me. It's not surprising to me that they come up with a gotcha. Um, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. They did me the same way on my burial plots. They did my dad the same way. 
Okay, this is nothing. This is nothing new. This is this is all you know. I was not caught by surprise on this. Now I was caught by surprise by the amount because you, you know um, at first he says, "Oh, 1500 bucks," you know, for the open and close. I'm like, "What? Well, shit? Okay, you know." I was but then, able, he, then he whips out the seven grand. And it's like, oh. <laughs> I was able to help my family uh, bury my dad because uh, there were some there were some last minute expenses that you kind of you just don't expect, especially when it just kind of drops on you like that. Mm -hmm. um, if mm -hmm. you let me help you, I'm sure I can help talk to the funeral home and arrange a way for you to pay that off right. the same way we were able yeah. to do. If you just give me a chance to talk to him, I'm a pretty good negotiator, as you know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have yeah, to see. Just you, you, you have, you have gave him like the, like the policy, like all that yeah. stuff. Like you gave him. That well, like I said, everything was paid off, but you see, it was it was paid off so many years ago, and everything yeah, has but, increased in price. That's their yeah, that's but their even. Point. But Vaughn, that, that, that doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I agree, how... dude. I agree, guys. Yeah. I agree that I shouldn't have to owe him a dime because everything was paid off. But that's not what they're claiming. They're claiming that because it was paid off so many years ago that the cost has increased. The uh, you know all the all the prices have went way up, and that I got to pay the difference. And like I said, they've done they did my policy this way. They did my dad's policy this way. Now they're doing my mom's uh, policy think, this way. This is not I something. Gone... I think they're just trying to take you for a ride because, well, you know. Well, I'm sure they are, but I mean, you know, like I said, I agree with you. It's just, you know, this is what they say they got to have to make so, it happen. My, my so, next question, Vaughn, is because uh, you spoke about this uh, previously, since the Frost want to be so involved in Alice's death, have they offered to sort of uh, offer some type of wave to so you can make it ends meet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't well, know. surely, yeah. that's the point. This is the thing, like, they surely don't expect someone just to cough up seven grand like that. Like, surely they can have a a payment plan in place, so, like, you pay it up. I, I mean, know. I know that we no have idea. that here, you know. I don't I don't know, guys. Like I said, this is all new to me. You know, my last experience with death was from the sidelines. You know, this is my first time being personally involved in someone's demise. And I've never done it before, never had any inkling of how to do it before. And so this is all new territory for me. Well, okay, I have step, no clue. The first step is to talk to your funeral director, right? Like that mm -hmm. would be your first step. Go to the funeral home, and you need to mm -hmm. sit down and find out what her policy is, how mm -hmm. much is actually owed, mm -hmm. what kind of payment plan you can arrange. If mm -hmm. you, uh, there's even options where you can um, kind of downsize the funeral. If she got a package that paid for something that's a little more expensive, you can right. bring it down and get maybe the cheaper casket and help to negotiate those prices but that's what right. you're going to have to do it's it's right. it's feet on the ground Vaughan well unfortunately that. that's in ohio so i'm going to have a problem you I'll can probably make a phone call to, sweetie pie i'll have to well that's what i'm going to have to do a lot of people it'll do all, this over the phone it'll all have to, it'll especially all have to be now. over the phone because that's well, a long way to go. So. yeah yeah i know yeah, i mean if if you if, i'm sure mrs parker can help you you know you two can get on on three-way uh with the funeral home and then we all can sort of uh, figure out what to do from there because I'm pretty sure they'll take people's money. Like they want to get this yeah. stuff paid for. They'll take they people's pay money, it but it down. has to. L l listen, I know, I know. It sounds like uh, you know, oh, Von Helm is just being controlling. No, I'm not. the The funeral home is not going to have. You know, if you want to send them money, they'll take it, but they're not going to put it towards mom. They'll they'll just say, hey, it's free will donation. Thanks, guys. Well, Bye. I, I don't. You know, if they do that's that, that, that's that's, that's a that's a big sense. legal issue for yeah. them. It has to come through me. Money. Oh, right, they have to get out of business pretty quickly at that point. They yeah. have to know. They have to know that it's coming through me, though. So well, yeah, but you guys have a. You, but if you there's have a quote account. from them, there's a there's an account number. If you guys got a quote from them, so if there's if it's the money is not allocated towards that mm -hmm. account, then I can dispute that. I can take them to court yeah. and appropriate my funds. Well, that yeah, but see, that exactly. between you and them, and you know, I wouldn't sure. even be involved. Well, in that. well, that's well, that that's fine. So we'll so we'll take care of that back end. Bond, if, if hey, that's what we're saying. Like, donate. if people want to donate to make sure your mother gets a proper burial mm -hmm. because they respect Alice, we will find a way to make sure that they can donate directly to the funeral home and to that account. Yeah, what I you're think. saying is there's no possible way. We're telling you there is a way, and we're willing to know. help you make that happen. Are you willing to allow this to happen? Fun. For, you're not letting us help. Don't let we a gift horse in the mouth here. It, mind. it really does. If you tell yeah, us well. the funeral, tell us the funeral home. 
tell us the account it's number. It's only a few calls, you know? It's only a few phone calls. It takes maybe 20 minutes of my time to arrange something for you where we can have people, they have an account where they can send money if they want to. Okay, that it's not that hard. You're making it harder than it needs to be, and I don't mm. understand why. Mm. You could and Vaughn, you could probably do it with her in a in a phone call to understand exactly what's going on, so there's nothing nefarious happening. There's nothing. There's nothing to understand. They want seven thousand dollars. There's nothing to understand. They want seven thousand dollars to make this shit happen. That's what they want. Now I could start a GoFundMe. I could start a GoFundMe right now, but they ain't nobody going to give them the money. GoFundMe to pay for the. I just put a GoFundMe out there to, you know, uh, for funeral expenses for my mom. I mean, people do it all the time. People do that hey, shit all the time. Vaughn, look at the the side chat. Um, if that's a real Larry Frost, then is that the correct funeral home? Huh? No, I haven't. Uh, the, side, the, the private chat. The private chat. Sorry, the private chat. Oh, the, the private chat. Um, Streamyards. Yeah. Yeah. So if that's the real Larry Frost Senior, then if that's the correct funeral home, then I'm guessing that is the real Larry. I don't know. Let me see. Um, let me see. I got to scroll up, apparently. If that's the real Larry, I don't know the man, but uh, condolences the same yeah absolutely and if you're on here I'd, I'd say it to you um but hope everybody's well in your family yeah. I need G-Man someone uh, get a hold of G-Man now I don't see the name of the funeral home in the private chat where do you Crude see that AF I don't see donated $4.99 in in through super chat I just I just no typed it in the side on. chat Vaughn does it start with the letter B uh well that's the funeral home yeah Okay. okay. Larry says to you, Larry. Can yeah. can Larry come on here and let us tell him personally that we're sorry for his loss? No. No. Even in this time of grief, you can't set that aside. No, sir. No, ma'am. Okay. No, I cannot. Um, no, right. I cannot. All like right, I well. said, there's there's extenuating circumstances, and technically, um, in fact. <laughs> No, technically about it. I am not allowed any type of conversation okay. or interaction with them at all. What about um, Andrea? She's backstage. Uh, Andrea's backstage. I don't yeah. see her. Yeah. I don't see her. Uh, she might. I haven't seen her say anything in a while, so she might have left. She might have left. I, don't, I, don't, well, I keep getting a, a comment from Streamyard saying people are trying to get in and can't get in. So. Okay. So maybe that's her trying to get in. I don't know. Might be. Well, well Vaughn, I, mean, I can, I can go quick. Well, I can I can contact uh, that particular place and I can mute and I can find out if we all can, you know, donate directly and we can you know we can get it, you know, settled. At least an idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a really would quick you, conversation. Would you want me to do that? Uh do what you want, but I tell you you're just wasting your money because if it ain't through me, they're not they're not gonna put it towards mom at all. I okay. know you think I'm crazy, but I ain't. Well, no, I, I didn't say you're crazy. I just wanted to, I mean, people people genuinely do want to help. So. Like I said, you give them some money, I guarantee you they'll take it. I guarantee they will. They'll take your money. Guaranteed they will. But will they put it towards my mom's funeral? No, and they don't have to. Why? Because it's not through going through me. That's why. Now, you can give them all the money. You, well, you can give them $100,000, you know. I'm sure, they'll, I'm sure they'll take your money. I don't have no doubt they'll take your money. <laughs> That's not in question. What's in question is, is will they put it towards my mother? And the answer is no, because it's not going through me. You know, this is this is not, you know, this isn't hard to figure out. It's pretty easy shit to figure out, right? Just saying, it's it's. Let me get. Let me take my mobile device. That's down. a good question. Um, you know. Let me take my mobile device down. Maybe that. Maybe that'll. I don't know. Slot. Are you hearing? I'm going to take my mobile device down to open up a slot so that somebody okay. can come in. All right. I don't know. I, I do not know. Yo, midnight just, yo, sh just zooms by. Hallelujah, praise Jesus. No, no, we both got fuck with no loop. Snyder Handyman's reporting that the phone call to the doctor is not the funeral home. 
Bum number one donated Ron 50 through Super Chat. Hello, Sec. I'm super behind, mm. like three hours at 2x speed. It's been a wild okay. ride since I just think the, the funeral Thank home you guys for documenting the sale for so many years. Looking something forward like to the month. So ready, uh, they always set up payment know, plans. Paul, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That sounds like drag. I think drag's on the phone with them. So no. there no. was uh, never, it's there was never home. ever, there was never ever any discussion damn, about payments it. between either the funeral home Gray man or has just the donated five well, Canadian dollars. Said for said anything chat. about payments I trust to me. Neither. What he's always so Von, I just called them. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Everything's much. Everything's already paid for. What? I literally just called them and well, they double checked. Asked them a double check, open and close casket, everything. And they said, and she repeated again. Seven grand has been paid. And she said, everything has been paid for. It's okay, a Christmas see? miracle. There you go. Nothing to worry okay. about there. Okay. There you go. Now you okay. can move on from that problem. Yeah. All right. That's well, beautiful. Much, Thank you, Drag. Well, much, really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank really you, Drag, for taking it. your time to do that. Well, who paid? Thank you, Drag. She didn't disclose, but she said it. She said it was already paid for. That was her exact quote. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. So there we go. That's perfect. Yeah. All righty. Well, I cleared a whole bunch of openings. Oh, oh my God! It is Andrea. Hello, Andrea. How you doing, dear? I'm doing okay. Just um, I heard it like that bad news and yeah. Well, I appreciate you calling in, dear. I appreciate you calling in. I'm just genuinely, genuinely concerned, you know, about what you're gonna do, you know, after. I have no idea. I've never been through this before, so I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Andrea. This is I all new to me. It's ever bit new to me. I have no idea what what to do. I really. Yeah, don't. I'm. Like, I mean, mom, you know, still alive, but I'm going to go right. through the same thing. So, yep. you know, later on. So, I yep. eventually we all have to go through it, whether we like it yeah. or not. Whether we like it or not. So, how are you doing, Andrea? I'm doing all right. Are you getting medical care? Um, yeah, I got a little health to get medicine, but I'm staying with my mom. You're not in a facility. No, I never. I, I haven't been in a facility in over eight years. Every now and then, oh, I went to the hospital sake. because I ran out of my medicine. Yeah, every now and then, I'll um, run out of my medicine and have to, you know. Well, my personal opinion, I believe it's better for you to have 24-hour care, but what the fuck do I do? So, is this the first time you just right. spoke on cam? Merry Christmas, Andrea. Yeah. All right. Happy holidays, well, Andrea. Thank you. Merry Christmas, sort of. I, you know, I, you know. I, think, I think you should have. You should be getting twenty-four hour care. That's my personal opinion on the matter. But I'm all right, Dude. and I'm gonna be driving soon. Definitely. Driving. Yep. Okay. I passed the practice written test with eighty percent. That's good okay. for you, girl. Good for you, Andrea. Good okay. for you. That's yeah. awesome. I'll study the an annual. I'm just trying to, I have to go back and remember, like, sometimes I have a hard time remembering, but I know what the signs look like and everything. It's just... That's good. Have you, how have you been feeling getting your independence, living life? What's, what's it been like for you, Hot Sauce? I want to hear all the good things. Um, I, I graduated from college and... Congrats. And I'm back in college. Going for a business nice. degree. Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's freaking awesome sauce. I mean, okay. I can't believe I even passed the math class. Like, I suck at math and I still made a B, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking awesome sauce. You know, you're getting all the love, right? You're getting all of the love. So, it's That's good. That's it's good to have taken time to improve your life. You know, it's, you know, yeah. you, we can't just sit and sort of just stagnate forever. Like, it happens to all of us, you know, at, at mm -hmm. some point yeah. in life, we just sort of, you know, we, we we don't really make any progress, right? As long as we're not sitting there for decade and decade, I think that's an awesome thing. And you do deserve um, all the praise for that, Andrew. I had like a job. I'm trying to get my job back because my feet started swelling up. And so like I had to quit my job. So now they said I was rehired and they said it was going to call me, but that was like last week and then they were called. 
So I'm going to do a follow-up with that today to find out why they didn't call me. I need G Man. Well, Someone I, get a hold well, of G Man hey, you now. Know, I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna take it your word, Andrea. I, I hope the best I for you. No it's so I nice the, seeing I'm getting slapped you, with a big wet you. reality. You can't win. accept it. That's all, Andrea. You do you, baby. You you yes, live your life. Right. You know, well, do so whatever. Do whatever turns you on. Absolutely, I agree. Do whatever. <clears> you live your best life, and you make sure that you do it to the fullest. You right. you've come a long way, and uh -huh. yeah, you deserve right. the best. That's right. That's right. And. I'm just kind of feeling like a little bit like a remorse about like your mom, how like how I treated her. I should have been a better daughter to her in a way is how I feel. No, don't sweat it, man. Don't sweat it. Everything happens for a reason, even the bad stuff. So don't sweat it. Not Andrea, you just made me cry. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's, it was a good thing. I needed to hear it. It's uh, that's. Yeah. Like, thank so you. Thank you. It's, it's tears of joy. Tears of joy. Yes. Yeah, you're yeah, absolutely I'm just trying to stay girl. positive because, um, you know, I'm a Christian, so um, I believe that she's possibly with God and Jesus. I won't know until I hit the other side again. You didn't know I had died giving birth to my son, did you, Vaughn? What's that? I had, when I had my youngest son, I died th two or three times. No, I did not. Yeah, so that woke me up. I'm hoping one day it'll wake you up, but that's the God damn internet. Things, so. Yep. yep. After you I've been over dead several children, times, and it definitely woke me up too. Through I Chat. definitely learned my lesson. Andrea Art. has progressed, Wait, and her be the loser has this. Yeah, I died twice. <laughs> I didn't get birth, no. I need I cheap, die. man. Someone get yeah, over the TV on now. That's it medically twice. impossible for me to get birth, guys. God Sorry. hates us all donated <laughs> medically impossible. $5. Yeah, Yvonne, I think, I think he was talking about we the one with the giant trail. Oh, he was talking about Andrea. Okay, well. Yeah, um... Like, I died twice, and I knew, like, where I was, but I was thinking about, like, our kids, and then I have a kid, and I'm like, you know, I didn't want them to be without a mother, you know, so I told God, I said, I'm sorry, I gotta come back, it's not my time yet, I'm so, I said, I'm sorry, I would love to stay, but I can't, you know. Yeah, well, so, what was uh, it like when you died? Like, were you clinically dead or like? Just... I would, well, I know, like, my, my whole, my, my lips were blue, like, everything was blue. My best friend was like, it showed up, and my cousin and most of my family members were there, and like they said, I was blue. I was not moving, you know. I was, yep, like, that's dead, I, all right. I was dead, and yep. I'm a miracle to be alive. Yeah, I, I, I had to go through physical asked. therapy just to be able to walk again and everything. I, I keep getting was asked. Like, it's just that walking, it was a hard just thing. Yeah. But I well, yeah, you got to have therapy. Kids, That's and true. And I'm like, he's going Every, to Everybody that comes walk. back, everybody that comes back is that way, Andrea. They always have to go through therapy and relearn yeah. how to walk and and stuff. That's that's normal. Everybody has to go through that. It was that. really when hard. I died, I had to do that too. It's normal. It was, it was so hard, like because they're they they think you know that it's their their understanding that you know you're losing those motor skills and so you have to. Because I'm like a stuffed turkey back. for Thanksgiving. Yeah, put you sometimes that. I have a hard time remembering fork. stuff. I'm I have to write that. stuff down. JL has just donated one dollar and ninety nine cents through super chat. Anyone else reminded of the documentary, Stevie? I'm not aware of that. I don't. I don't get that reference, but I appreciate the uh, super chat. Thank you very much. Down every now and then, because mm, I ain't had a problem brain injury. Memory. So brain I had a seizure when I came back. Oh yeah. And well, wait a minute. How long were you gone? You know, I never how you had gone? a seizure before in my life, and I had a seizure when I came back to life. How long were you gone? A week. Whoa, whoa! You were dead for a week. Yeah, that's why. Like, yeah, I was dead for a week. Oh, well. What, okay. in a coma? No, like, I was actually yeah. dead, and then I came, I started slowly coming back to life. I mean, doctors were crying. They tried to stick a on me. They tried everything. It was all up to God. It's a Christmas miracle. So the, the, the rigor mortis set in and everything, huh? Yep. Ooh. My body was, like, halfway shut down when I came to, and I didn't know that. And so like, they had to give me something to get my body going, you know? Right. 
And then right. I had any doctors are crying and see what happened is when I had my youngest son. Wait, you got more than one son? Sorry about that. Are you good? So what you you had a I have somebody wait, call, you got I had more my than one son? best friend from Alabama was calling. I'm sorry about that. How many wait, how many well, she hold doesn't it. know you, I'm on she doesn't want to know I'm wise. Wait a minute, so how many kids do you I have now? That. <laughs> Andrea, how many children do you have now? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can now. Can how many, how us, many Andrea? I can't hear you. Uh -oh. You can't hear me? Oops. Hang on, let me um Juan has some important questions. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear, hear me? You? Uh, 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 uh. This is my CYT. She's starting a clan of her own, Vaughn. Apparently. Um, okay, I can hear, I can't hear y'all, but you can hear me. Okay. okay. Right. We can hear you. Um, I guess we called and missed the value off of my phone. Yeah, when you get another call I'm from outside, it will back. disconnect. So right. I can hear y'all. Yes. Yes, it will disconnect. Yeah, it sounds like she's starting clan Helton without you, huh? Uh, sounds like it, doesn't it? Damn, that's uh, that's interesting. I keep, I keep getting that's asked this. What, what is it? Somebody said they put a curse on your mom on the eleventh. What's that? What yeah. happened? People keep keep people keep asking me that someone put a curse on your mom to die on the eleventh, and then she had the stroke. I'm, well, oh, I, it's what very. What all about? It, well, it's that? it's very interesting. Um, I have emails that were sent to me about December the eleventh, and about how. Um, I I think what it was is that it was technically supposed to be me that dies, but since I'm protected against magic, it bounced off and hit mom and killed her instead. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But yeah, I have emails about December the eleventh. I have numerous saved comments about December the eleventh, and um, you know, so who knows? Who knows what? Who so knows what it was? Was there was there anything that was supposed to happen on the eleventh, like a court date or anything like that? Well, there was one allegation of a court date, yeah, but that that wasn't uh, that wasn't the case. But, but yeah, there was one allegation, but that, but that, but but the interesting thing was that they kept they kept talking about the eleventh, the eleventh, the eleventh, the eleventh, and it's very interesting. Because mom passed at two thirty in the morning on December the eleventh, so uh, I guess it's just all a big coincidence. But wait, right? today's the twentieth. No. I guess it's all just a big coincidence. But Vaughn, Va today's the twentieth. Oh, that's when she had the yes, stroke. Well, the, the issue she had the event on the eleventh, and so yeah. the visual effects from that, you know, it right. took a while because it wasn't it wasn't originally intended for Alice, oh. so it's not right. going to happen directly. It was not back. supposed to hit her. It was supposed to hit me, and it didn't. And it didn't. I'm sure well, who, they wanted me dead. And uh, so who who sent the who sent well, the Dusty emails? Dusty McBuds like... sent one of the emails, and uh, I'm trying to think who sent the other email. Uh, but so yeah, it wasn't some... it, yeah. it was YouTube okay. trolls. Yeah, of course, it was YouTube trolls. Welcome back, Andrea. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, My best great. You called me from Alabama and, and messed the phone. Yes, off. that messed up your connection. Correct. That Come that's back. one reason why. It's not a good idea to use a mobile device on a live show. Anyway, um, okay, now wait a minute, Andrea. Andrea, I have to, I have to know here. Um, you were talking about you said your other child. Are you saying you have more than one child by someone now, or what? Just one child. I can't have oh, any more one. kids. Oh, okay. Why not? They had a partial. Oh, you had a partial. I see. Okay. Yeah, because I see what happened was I was just about to explain to you before she called me. My friend, and um, I had bled to death. Oh, I see. Yeah, I hemorrhaged really right, bad, right. and I only had like one or two percent of blood left in my body. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's how I died, and and then I had to have over like I forgot how many blood transfusions it was, but it's over a million dollars worth. Yes. Well. Well, I will say this: uh, hospital stays aren't cheap anymore. That's true. That's very and true. they didn't even charge me for the hospital stay because they're like, there's no way. I, unless some miracle happens, I can't pay off a million dollars worth of blood and all and all the hospital expenses. Plus, right. I had Medicaid. Right, I understand. But yeah, I have a young son. Okay. Okay, just the way you said it made it sound like you had more than one child, and so I just no. you know, wanted to clarify that. You no. Know, for the record. They did, okay. you know, tell me after I had, uh, what, no, it was Helena and Jeremiah that I could have twins again. 
I said, you're crazy. And I prayed hard just to have another kid later on, you know. Well, no, actually, actually, no. I mean, if, you know, if it skips several generations, from what I have been led to believe, if it skips several generations, then it, then it can literally dogpile onto the, onto the last person. Okay, so like say, you know, let's say let's say um, your your sister didn't have twins or triplets, your your niece uh, or not your niece, but your aunt didn't have twins or triplets, your mom didn't have twins or triplets, your grandma didn't have twins or triplets. None of the you know, about four or five women back never had twins or triplets. It yeah, literally exactly. could dogpile on on to you, according well, to what I'm un- led to believe. Now, oh, it's kind, is kind it of true? Like I don't know. Disease, right? You can, it's, it'll skip a generation. Yeah, it'll skip yeah a- and it skips oh, generations okay. also. Yeah, yeah my, uh, oh. Wait, oh, grandmother yeah, it's, was yeah. twin, and so um, my sister thought they they would get twins. I said no, it it, it was me. <laughs> yeah, it hit you. That's right. That's what I'm saying. And it and and it could literally dogpile on top of you, if uh, you know if a bunch of them in the past didn't have any, it could dogpile up. That's what I'm led to believe. Now, is it true? I don't know, but it, you know, that's what's out there. You know, I'm just reporting what's out there. But, but yeah. Um, he came out really healthy and everything, and that's well, what good. mattered to me. I'm that glad to hear healthy. it. I'm glad to hear it. I am, Andrea. Um, there'll be three in February. Yes, yes. So, so you uh, had possession of the child right now? The child. I did, one? but um, I gave him up to man and uncle for adoption because oh, CPS workers, are they were circling me. Yeah. There was like four or five of them at the hospital. And you know how do that. It, yeah, they, it was they do because that. of, you know, I was a three-year in foster care. And they're like, oh, well, she can take care of these three. What makes her think that she can take care of these? And this time I was ready. Like, I had everything ready. I had a bed. I had a bedroom for him. You know, I had stable income coming in. Like, I was ready. And I was actually ready. And it just don't didn't happen that way. But I still get to see him. Oh, and everything. Nice. I yes. CPS Volley, wherever you go. Yes, yep. they do. They do. Yeah. Yes, they do. This is why you never call CPS on anyone. Because I know. I'm sorry. Know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I did it. But... You're stuck with it. When, when you call CPS on someone, they're stuck with them for life. They will never stop. Let's say no, I get a, let's say I get a girlfriend tomorrow. Let's say I get a yep. girlfriend tomorrow. CPS will be out here to dog her, just like yep. they dogged Andrea. It will not be any different. And, they said and, 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 and one of the, well, one of the CPS workers named Susan basically told me that to my face. She said, you get a, you get a girlfriend, you get a wife, they have kids. We're, we'll be right back out of here to go at it again. Oh, like, so they know it's not, all, so it's not. Oh, they, the yeah, it's never like, in. See that? And that's the thing. That's the, that's the thing, okay, Dragnaut. Th- this thing is, this thing is perpetual. Okay. Let's say my, my girls have children. CPS will be out here to dog them too. Yeah, oh, buddy. Wow. wow. Oh, so when yeah. your daughters well, have well, kids, they can't. Oh, hold on for a second. I think they now. know that you want to create, you know, clan Hilton, right? And I think they it don't. Might, it, well, it no, might it's not about. No, 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 no. It's not about Systemic that. It's oppression. just that once you, once you, uh, sick the government on on somebody, the government will never stop. Okay, but George you, Washington, George Washington warned uh, us about this shit, two hundred and what fifty eight years ago. But he you said, said if your girls have if your girls have kids, they would be involved in that. If my girls have children, CPS has already said to my face that yeah, they'll be out here to inspect them and take them away too. Yeah, well, right. yeah so will. CPS no, will take your grandkids away. And, and yes, certainly. Why not? Absolutely, absolutely. They you what, what? Let me explain to you. Let me tell you what George Washington said. George Washington said, and he said this two hundred and fifty eight years ago. He said, government is a monster with an insatiable appetite. It will take and take and take until you have nothing left. That is a, now I'm not, I don't have the exact quote in front of me. That's a paraphrase, but it's pretty damn close to what he said. Okay. He warned us about that shit 258 years ago. You never, ever sick the government on somebody because they'll be dogged for the rest of their lives. And their children will be dogged. And their children's children will be dogged. And their children's children's children will be dogged. I talked to somebody just yesterday who has seven generations that have been dogged by the government. What? All because of one phone call to CPS. Because one. of one CPS phone call. One. Yes. One. It's crazy. And now, seven generations later, they're still being harassed by CPS. 
It that never ends. Sense, bro. It that never ends. It never ends. Ever. No. It never goes away. It don't. Okay. So I honestly like now that you're kind of calmed down and a little more relaxed, I wanted to talk to you about the pocket universe situation because that should be fucking with me. Okay. Pocket what? Like you're okay, the petri dish world thing you talked about. Like, okay, so it's a petri dish. And there's a dome of ferberment, and then like other petri dishes are next to it, and those are the other worlds. And aliens don't have to go through wormholes; they just jump from petri dish to no, petri this, dish. No, this no. How does this, it? Can you? Because Drag is here, and he understands science better than I do. So this this stuff that you know these aliens are coming from billions and billions and billions, like Carl Sagan yeah. used to say years ago. Yeah, it's all bullshit. That's they're what I'm just, saying. Can, I, I, it's hard. I can't explain over. it. Yeah, they're just in the next petri. Okay, imagine an infinite flat plane of ice. Yeah. Okay, big old square flat sheet of ice stretches to infinity in all directions. Okay, mm -hmm. in the midst of that big sheet of flat ice, you have a petri dish. That's us. Then you have a petri dish over here. Then you have a petri dish over here. Petri dish over there. You know, thousands of petri dishes. Okay, they're not coming from billions of light years away. They're coming from the next petri dish over or two petri dishes over. It's st they're still in this vicinity. Now, the petri dish we're in has a dome over it because you have ancient documents that says the waters, meaning the oceans, are, are, are down here separated from the waters above. Okay, well, what waters above? There's water, allegedly, that is on the outside of this hoopa, this, this petri dish, this dome. Okay, and like I, like I said, I've been playing the video here recently where a guy grabbed a hold of a 1958 copy of Encyclopedia Britannica, which clearly states that not only is the earth flat and that it has a dome, but it actually gives you longitude and latitude numbers for the dome. It actually gives what you, do you. What do you think, Drag? Like, I know it's like a really hard. It's, it's a hard concept to kind of it ain't know, no more digest harder. when you first hear it. It's you know, not more, no more harder than string theory. I mean, string theory, man, holy shit, that about messed my head up trying to understand yeah, that I, shit. I can't understand string theory. I'm not, well, I'm I, not think, but I think what Vaughn's missing is that um, it's not that these domes are in separate places. It's that you can, instead of location, think frequency. So just like you have a radio, you know, okay, you know a stereo, yeah. you change the frequency, you change, you get a different station. So... Yes. They're in the same place. They're, they're here. They're just on a different frequency. So there is that idea yeah. of being floated yeah. around. Yeah. Or psychedelics, you're tuning in to another frequency. And then or you see them. also, too, you, like I said, you got string theory out there, which says that a 3D person is not going to see a 4D person. A 4D person is not going to see a 5D person. Correct. A 5D person is not going to see a 6D person, et cetera, et cetera. Mm hmm. And but they're here, they're they're present, but you're not yeah, going to see them a, it's a, because you're limited. Location. It's not location. Yeah, you're you're limited in your abilities. You know. Yeah. I have so, a yeah. question. Yes. Go ahead. Um, what do you think about this COVID vaccine thing? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Started on COVID. Oh. So I'm going to just mute this for a moment. Actually, Miss yes. Parker, I don't know if you're simulcasting right now, but if you are, so yeah. Let's skip ahead a little bit to the end here. Did Ron 10 through Super Chat. OMG Nick joins the stream. Thank you very much. Yes, folks, the show must go on. This is money, but this is historic. One is actually correct. Like yes. that is true. Well, I, I'm not allowed to lie. Yeah. So this is the Janssen okay, uh, so. uh, 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 B word. Uh, it's a Janssen one. All right. <laughs> this is a good time to transition. I don't want to do the COVID shit. Yeah. I don't know Miss Parker's going to get it. All right. Where are we at? Oh, there's not much left of this. Folks, I think this is a good spot to end it for tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming out, joining, having fun, frolicking, through this weirdo wonderland that we call the internet you know the drill we'll keep our eyes open like i said vaughn's been pretty quiet vaughn's been, been mighty quiet so we're gonna have to keep our eyes open and our ears to the ground on that one for sure for sure but folks we'll definitely keep you posted if anything new comes up uh please thumbs up the video on your way out 